Microphone check, one, two, what is this? Welcome to episode 278, 278, 278, 278. 268, bro. Slow down, son. <laughs> You're killing them. Jesus, man. I hate when that happens. Fuck I'm it. so far ahead of my time. I'm about yeah. to start another life. Look behind you. I'm about to pass you twice. Where were you when you first heard that bar? In Def Jam. What did you think? <laughs> <laughs> my shit ain't coming out. Nah, nah, it wasn't even about that. You know what? I think I've said it before in this podcast. At that was the moment where all of the rappers in Def Jam understood. <laughs> yeah. Everybody there was there was no longer a beef about who's dropping with who. Uh yo, why is he getting the market? It was all of that was finito when he said that. <laughs> <laughs> the way he started every one of those verses was that. What was that? The last one? How did he start that? No, see, now we got to do this. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. He's dicky. What year was that? Yep. <laughs> Hovey, baby? That was oh, oh my. six. Five, no. Six? Earlier than that. Was it early? Oh, five, oh, five the latest. Oh, five. Yeah. Just was just having fun at that point. I guess it would have been like 04. Yeah, I don't. 05, 06, definitely not. Because American Games no, was what? 07. Can't, it could, can't be 05, 06. I, no, wasn't, I, was I early. wasn't in Def Jam in 06. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. yeah. 2002? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, 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 would, I wouldn't have been in Def Jam. Yeah. Yeah, and it had to be before me because I didn't drop yet. Fuck. <laughs> huh. 17. They say, I mean, just standing on a That's giant sick. shoulder can see years. much further than a giant. Nigga rapping like that 17 so years I got ago? the That's whole crazy. rap. It seemed like he was, it seemed like, wait, it, it seemed like he kind of knew that he was talking to niggas. <laughs> he knew that, that you guys would, would come to the office? No, well, it, well, hey, that was coming this off the seemed like, shit. Yeah, this seemed like, it did, no, this seemed like different type of bragging. This seemed like I'm talking to the nice rappers, the famous mm. ones, the big ones. That's what I'm saying. It is, set, oh. I've been trying to be patient. <laughs> He said it. I think they scratched off bingo four minutes into this podcast somehow. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. We did Eden. That's what Saturday is for, though. Listen, sure. man, welcome to episode Ho- 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 Drake. 268 <laughs> of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, the gracious, nice and grateful host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. I, if I haven't told you guys, I'm so, I'm so grateful for you. Pardon me. For you guys, man. It's not us. It's the, the little people. Like, you see the, in the lens, if you can see the people right there, you see them? It's the, it's them. That's it's just you, us. but I can't see them. Little, yeah. yeah it's We're me. the little people from it's David. It's from down Keisha here. Keisha, right there. Keisha, what's up, baby? David, Eric, I see y'all. Who's uh, who, who's Keisha? Yeah, it's a Keisha watching. Sure. Okay. This nigga will not read his contract. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what has to happen to get this guy to read his contract. Uh, episode two sixty eight of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm Joe Button. Blah blah blah. Here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. <laughs> Maul is here. Parks is here. <laughs> Rory is here Erickson is here And Savon is still here with us Somehow I thought Savon he is still here baby I, yeah. I thought he, he got the chain Ice, thought, icy though Ice, yeah. ice, ice baby A little different but he Got the cut off black jeans I see what's going on Savon I'll give you a thousand dollars If you can give me twelve bars From Ice Ice Baby I'll double that Oh yeah How old are you? Oh yeah Oh, that's a good bet then. I'm going to double that up. That's not, that's not a good he, bet. He, he turned around and I'm like, cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have been like, fuck. <laughs> I would have been yeah, sick. Yeah, like what if that was like his shit? <laughs> <laughs> you never know until he put the money on the line. They'd be like, cold. And they'd be like, oh my God. Something. <laughs> to hold the- yeah. Yo, that's, that's pretty funny. But why do young dudes don't never go back and just listen to shit? Like I mean, y'all don't go back and listen to shit? Not, maybe not to Ice Ice Baby. I, was, I don't know if that's the top one I'm going to. Yeah. But last time I said that song wasn't that great, you rapped every single word to me in my face and I was like, alright man, it's and, a good song. And it's and a good song. I, but no, and I went even farther with a hot take that said Vanilla Ice on that song raps better than at least 50% of active rappers today. Okay. Yeah, yeah he did say that. Yeah, he did. And I stand by it. Right. Ted Danson. <laughs> Oh, it's, and I, it's a weird thing to say because how do we gauge fifty percent? Just can, everyone that can rhyme a word. Fifty percent of rap today is easy to, yeah, to we, gauge. We can name them all. It doesn't take much, it doesn't okay. take much to gauge fifty. Or you rap better than fifty percent of rappers today? Oh, thanks, well, Parks. Let's, let's hear that verse. Let's hear <laughs> nah, that secret verse. We got to save that for the five year anniversary. 
<laughs> yeah, don't, don't hit him with it. Yeah, come on. He's yeah, trying to give up the, the, the content. Yeah, the street's been waiting. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what they told you? They've been, yeah, wait- they been waiting. Damn, I ain't they, get that email. They've they just been to one barbershop and just listened to <laughs> no, niggas they, talk. They, no, it's just them. Yeah, and it's just them. Yeah, it's just them. They the streets. It's true. Um, What were we saying just now? Vanilla Ice? Yes. But listen, I went back. I went back to check different eras of hip hop that was before my time just to see what like what was going on. I just wanted to hear what the sound was. Yeah, yeah I mean me too. I, I still think it. it's been apparent on this podcast that I've done done that. And that car ride where I found out uh my oldest son had no idea who Cypress Hill was. That was a long car ride, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Started playing all that shit. Through all the ups and downs, that was the one. And that, you know what? That, that, was, that, that was honestly that one. It, it was that it was Cypress Hill and Redman. That was our conversation. Mm. Cypress Hill. I, he you knew not, who Redman was. No, he didn't. Really? Wow. No way. My son was born in two thousand and yeah, but some people you just, yeah. especially where he grew up. But Trey's what nineteen, eighteen, eighteen. How would he know who Redman is? Honestly, I mean, or how at would he, eighteen, I knew who the rappers were in the early eighties. So that would be. We his... talk about how that's a different time. Yeah, no, it is. All, it is. all the time, it which is. is crazy because now it's so much easier to. It's go so back much and... easier to find music now. Yeah. That's why I don't understand how these dudes don't know. But about. listening, but they to be it... so uninterested because they're bombarded with so much new shit. I think, like with me, I had to go and look because I was pre-internet when I was getting into music. So I was like literally in the CD store, mm-hmm. like, oh, this people keep talking about this. I hear this, and when people rap, they bring up this album. Let me go listen to this. Like, mm-hmm. I think it was different when I grew up to Trey now. Yeah, but uh, uh, like Park said today, though, I think it's. It's just it's a luxury. Like you can literally, I I could think of a lyric and I don't remember the, the record, and right. I could Google the lyric, the record will pop up, and I can go right to iTunes and get the album. Right. You know what I had to do f- to do that in in '89? <laughs> you had to ask like seven people, Yo, it go like this. Yeah. Like I had to go to five uncles. They'd be like, Nigga, I don't know what you talking about. Get out of here. Like you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I didn't know how to feel about that, uh, and that was a really really difficult car ride. Um, but I felt like it was my job to now teach my kid about the greatness of Redman. Nah, of course. Uh, especially growing up in Jersey City. You can't City. be a kid from Jersey City and, and claim to be a rapper and claim to be a rapper's son. Yeah, right. yeah more, <laughs> more importantly. Fam, yeah, yeah, no, you better, yeah, you better go do your well, fucking Well, did you play history. him some, because Cy- Cypress Hill, they have, like, Insane of the Membrane shit, like, that the world knows. They may not know it's Cypress Hill, but mm-hmm. that's just, like, one of those records that I feel has been in enough movies, commercials, I played how, everywhere. I, how I could just kill a man, and while I was jamming, my son looked confused, <laughs> and I understand it, because that's an awkward, that's an awkward record. I guess so I get it, it is. <laughs> no, it is. As, yeah, a, as an intro to a group, it was awkward when it, it came. It was out. awkward when, it, when I first seen <laughs> yeah, it on, right. on the box. Like, yeah. whoa! Yeah. It was, no, it was okay, yeah. It was, def- <laughs> that, it was different. Y'all heard that noise in my nightmare. Yeah, it, was <laughs> it, was it was a different form of hip hop for sure. Yeah, one hundred percent. But then I put some Red Man on. I don't, it's just different if you didn't experience certain shit. Like he don't even know all this greatness that Red Man is doing on this song and with the words because yeah. that's not the sound that's, that's not, not the now. style at yeah. it. he don't he you don't, don't get know. the references yeah to- and even if, if you go through like the typical classics if you go through your Illmatics your Tribes Reasonable Doubt shit Red is still to the left from that too so Red is hard to digest I think if you've never heard Red Man a day in your life and you're 19 years old and hey hot take Joe hot take Joe I'm here with him today <laughs> if we have to, if we're just naming top Five states rapping. New Jersey's in there. Hmm. Top uh, five states. Debate it. Nah. Detroit. Well, Michigan. Michigan Sun. would be the state. Yeah. New York. Obviously. Well, I know I'm picking California. One. Atlanta. Houston. Or Georgia, rather. Texas. Texas. Mm-hmm. That's like mm-hmm. five right there, no? One, I think two, there's a battle three, between four, Philly Illinois, and New Jersey. Illinois. I think there's a battle between Philly and New Jersey. That might be, Pennsylvania. And, that and, might be fair. And, and I think it's the states. same. That might be fair. It's, it's and just, I think it's, it's the no, same. No, I'm not saying very Jersey got sure. might be fair. Jersey is a sleeper pick. Jersey got mad shit. Mad shit. But I don't, I don't know if they'd be five. I'd have to, I'd what, have to really think. Me? Red Man. Fuji's. Uh, Lauren. Latifah. Tretch. Yeah. Outsiders. Yeah, right, nigga. I'm just saying take the best three, four, yeah. or five from the city. Or from the state. Uh, city, state. You know right, what I'm saying. Sugar right. Hell Gang. Whoever you want to say, <laughs> Jersey is somewhere in that. We up there. I ain't just picking I ain't just picking too many niggas to take out me, Red, Tretch, and Lauren. Nope. I ain't. It's a tough four. It is, I know we like to diss me up here. 
No. We can get no, to that in a sure. second. I'm, I'm, I'm listening to the to the. To the we name. did that off. And, and, we're here to support and, you. And you know what? Let's get off of that. Let me throw a wrench in our debate from the other week with uh, Fab and Kiss that niggas love so much. Uh, in that album argument, where does Bean slide? As having insert him in our Fab Kiss conversation. Beans probably have better albums than both of them. Ah, uh, yeah, I would put Beans number one. Yeah, out of those two, yeah, Beans has better albums. I just wanted to see if that was the consensus. Yeah, yeah. Beans, yeah. beans has better. But I have right. Beans so in my there, top there ten. Is nothing to debate there. We can debate it. Wait, Roy has Beans in his top ten. My my, my top ten rappers. Oh, top like my top ten. I wouldn't argue with you. I, no, no, if it's yours, I'm not yeah. never yeah. arguing your top. Yeah, beans and that's my why Philly's tough to take out. You got Black Thought and Beans off rip. Like, stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That one's tough. Yeah, but then Georgia, California, New York. That's a tough. Co- I, I'm I'm with you. You guys are a tough four in New Jersey. Chicago, yeah. Damn. But I don't know, man. Yeah, I can't Chicago, say top five. You might be a six man. I said five, six. I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah. No, no Jersey is nice. I'm, I'm, no, Jersey is nice. Perfectly yeah. fine with, don't get with fucked six. Up. Beans, Black Thought, is who's the third out of out of Philly? Meek? Yeah. Yeah. I would throw Meek there. Definitely. You would have to throw Meek there. <clears throat> Everyone in Philly is probably screaming at their speaker right now if people were not saying. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Meek, Black Thought, and Beans. I don't know that they get rid of me, uh, me, Red Man, y'all getting, and whoever. Y'all getting smoked. And Lauren? <laughs> Wait, me, Red Man, and, and whoever. Lauren y'all getting smoked. get smoked by them? Yes. Beans, Black Thought is Black smoking Thought, all of y'all. Black Thought will smoke all three of y'all by <laughs> yourself. Black Thought could take y'all by himself. And then himself. Beans will actually shoot one of you niggas <laughs> by himself. <laughs> like, I mean, how we, how we doing this, man? <laughs> I'm not riding with y'all that, that Beans... I think Red Man is smoking beans in a right. New York second. No. In a New York. So that leaves you versus Black Thought? No, I'm, in, I'm ending me. I'm ending me. That's I'm, funny. I'm, no, I'm ending. I'm, I'm, I'm finishing me. Okay, so you which were the quick That's two out of three. You were the quick out of three. All right, y'all want to laugh or y'all want to get serious? No, we, 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 we going to laugh. We got to laugh, laugh at it. Laugh. We got to laugh at it. All right, we just smoked. All right, Joe dead, yo. Red Man, yo, you crazy. You dead as hell. But I like how Joe went straight to. No, I got me. I got. Why, hey, why would niggas get on the court? Yeah. Niggas don't Yo. never pick the nice thing. I got him. Nah, go get that nigga that had his 30, nigga. Don't come over here to the nigga that's a spot, a spot shooter. Nah, go get the nigga that can score from everywhere. Get no, him. no, no, me and me are closer to the... No, that's not even true. Yeah, it's not even true. Look, I ain't trying to... Nah, we the same height. Like, okay, nah, so, nigga. so let's do it. So let's do it. I got red man smoking beans. Put me nah, getting, he's got to go against Black Thought. Put me getting smoked by Black Thought. Everybody left from New Jersey is winning now. Tretch, Lauren, whoever you want to say, it's a dub. We win. Nah, we take so. two out of three from Philly. I don't know, bro. I know. That's tough. I know. I would want to see that, though. That's tough. That is tough. That's I can't tough. believe that y'all don't have Red Man smoking Bean's boots. Not smoking his boots. I'm not saying he That's can't. That's crazy to not me. Not saying he can't, but not you're like, smoking. You're like Trey. Smoking? Yeah, but not smoking I don't know about his smoking boots. Either. Not smoking beans, boots. Yeah, I, don't do that. I don't know if you could use that word. You could say, "Yo, he might beat him." Yeah, he might, he might. Yeah, and we're talking everyone in their prime, boots? obviously, right? Nah. Yeah, beans in his prime isn't getting smoked by anybody. Cue some bean shit up right after that. Oh, you want to do that? Let's do it. Let's go. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah. 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 Matter of fact, I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you worry, yeah. man. I'll do it. <laughs> Okay, you plug oh, look, look, look. Now they got to look, not- look at each other. <laughs> they, yo, what you want me to play? You got the laptop. Don't worry. It's, it's, I'm not, I got it, nigga. I got laptop. the laptop, nigga. Uh-huh. No, Mr. Cheeks. No, oh, no, relax, Mr. Cheeks. A plus. Okay. Come on, A plus. I cannot believe you. I can't believe y'all. Play it. Man, if y'all don't leave him alone, <laughs> man, I'm just, yo, go on, stop it. Nah, he's about to get up. Don't, don't do that. I hate these bitches. Don't, don't, don't do look that. Like we don't fuck with the rapper. Yeah, we, we love Red, Red Man. Yeah. yeah, but don't yeah. come on the we track. We just saying you can't say smoke about beans. Period. The magnesia. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That's, That's all I'm intro. saying. <laughs> That's a wild intro. Yeah. All right, nah, man. Listen, I'm listen. Nah, Red. By the way, we gave Red Man a dub. Beans is in my top. 
Beans is high in my list, so I don't want this. I think to sound you like had Beans in your top yeah. twenty before. Yeah. He did one hundred percent. Yeah, I got Redman. I got Redman winning that battle, just not like a smoke. 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 Not smoking. Yeah, not smoking. I take it back. That that yeah. was wrong. Because yeah. that's a good battle. Beans has smoked some shit before. Yeah, yeah. for sure. In, in a battle. In a battle. <laughs> More than I, a few. I, I took. I I caught myself when. It's fucked up when I was like, damn, if Rory played this. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping he played that's, the joint, but he, he sounded like he was going to a real record. I'm like, no, yeah, go yeah, to the, go to the battle. Rory sounded like he was going to a record. I'm like, yo, if he get to that battle, yeah. uh, I don't know if tonight's the night's going to cut it. <laughs> yeah. Yo, come on, man. We ain't even played the drops. Hold up, man. We got podcasts to do. No. No, Joe Biden. <laughs> no, Rory and Ma. It's Park. It's Park. What's happening? Uh, it's Park. Okay, so first things first, I'd like to shout out our Spotify listenership. I'd like to shout out our YouTube viewership. I would like to shout out the people that have been here from day one and the people that won't be here again after today. I would like to shout out our lovers and haters, lovers and friends, whatever the ludicrous song is. Lovers and friends. Lovers and friends. Mm-hmm. Well, Lil John mm-hmm. Usher. Mm-hmm. Y'all ain't never grind in the back of the club. Thing. Come on, yes, come on. Yo, who, who do I do a pod with? All right. What you mean, nigga? Y'all ain't never grind in the back of the club to lovers and friends. I'm yeah, right. pretty sure everyone in this room has done that. <laughs> Parks do it to every record. <laughs> <laughs> every fuck. He don't give a fuck. He starts slow winding up. What is he doing at the band from TV? <laughs> Yo, slow <laughs> one in the band from Yo, band We crazy. looked in a corner, nature was ripping. <laughs> Parks getting bit. Hey, yo, regardless of rain or snow. <laughs> Park, Parks got his hand on the wall, like <laughs> uh, pointing outside, like the weather. He's doing the hand motions. <laughs> Uh, That's a sick bumping grind. <laughs> Yo, what do y'all want to start with, man? What do y'all want to start? I'm in a great mood, great mood. Shout out to everybody listening, man. I don't know who else. We can always, just, we can always just, just new music, I guess. <clears throat> we uh, new, new old music. What, what, what new music? What, what new music <laughs> well, was there? Well, Dirk, you, you popped Dirk it into a package. Pause. For the album, his album. Yeah. He I didn't has, get a chance. Which is a good album. I didn't listen to his album yet. I didn't really, I didn't, I listened to it one time and I can't really. You know, I don't like to talk about it after one listen, but yeah. it sound good, though. It sound good. I heard a lot of singing on there I like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? I'm an easy sell these days. <laughs> <laughs> just, just takes a, 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 t- a, a t-shirt, a takes a t-shirt, quick, put your name on it. quick crone. <laughs> <laughs> he's a, definitely more, he's more polished as an artist now, though. Okay. Like, I could, you can hear the the, uh, the seasoning. He's been active for a while, so yeah. I, would, yeah. I would expect that. Yeah. Uh, I like Dirk. Shout out to Dirk. All right, come on, give give it to me. Who who purchased Care Package? I did. I, I streamed it. Yeah, I bought it. I did. Did yeah, you I have those it. records already? Not all of them. Okay. Yeah, it was like three that I didn't have like on my yeah, sort of kind of playlist. Yeah, I didn't even that that was my first time here. And what what record was that? My side. Really? Never heard it. Uh, the Heat Wave one was the only one I think I hadn't heard. The rest Heat. of those are like some of my favorite Drake records. Heat Wave, Heat of the Moment. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That was the only one that was new to me. But you never heard that? Mm-mm. Yeah, I don't know how that one, one got over. But some of my favorite Drake records, I'm glad they're all together in one shit and actually on streaming. Yeah, because some I mean, of those I, had, I, I think them was on SoundCloud. <clears throat> yeah, so it wasn't like a, a big change to my life, but I think it's dope that mm-hmm. these can all be in one little area. I would like yeah. to see this be a precedent. That's my favorite part about it. I want more artists to do this. I want yeah. you know how people say don't follow the trend shit, like wow, you bite don't no bite. Ev- everyone should bite what Drake did on this. Yeah. <laughs> Please re-release your shit that was on mixtapes or Lucy's or on SoundCloud mm-hmm. and put it on streaming. Please. Yes, makes sense. Put it together like this. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say uh, Drake is probably the only person that could do this and have the potential of charting, but it doesn't matter. You should do it just for the purpose <clears throat> of. <clears throat> now that that good music would chart. The good music oh, the Friday other- leaks. <laughs> oh, that yeah. would be a phenomenal you, album. You mean my dark twisted fantasy? <laughs> Well, no, no, the, the shit they did on Friday. No, yeah, there's yeah. still like t- 12 records or something that were on that the album. Yeah. That all that all of them. Which one was? Nah, a bunch of them. Power and uh, oh, the remix. So Appalled and yeah. there's a bunch of them. Yeah, yeah it was, it was definitely was a good album. That was a great album. Yeah. It was. Yeah, both the leaks and the actual album were both really dope. All right, we're killing the music segment. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Analysis. Did, did any did any other um, analysis? <laughs> no, the albums really came out, right? No, uh, not nope. much. Black nope. Milk put out an album. I ain't listened to it yet. I like Black Milk. Me too. Uh, are you guys on board? Is is this Drake's classic? Is this his greatest album? Drake of all has time? several classics. Drake has two classics, <laughs> at least. 
No, I was just laughing at Twitter when they said that shit. Yeah. Take care is a That's classic. That's also not fair because it's 10 years of music. So Far <laughs> Gone is a classic. Uh, I've seen people say that this is one of Drake's better bodies of work. If you say that, I certainly won't argue with you. He's great at the Lucy's. Yeah. His, his Lucy's are great. I even thought that like, like when I was listening to him, I was like, amazing how some of this stuff has aged really well. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe the sound of music is still in, but... It doesn't I, sound I was going to say it none of this shit sounds dated. Uh, the Johnny Manziel no, that, hug, cause, <clears throat> you know, I mean, that didn't work out. I don't like. I don't, <laughs> I don't like draft day no. remastered. But the thing about that, the Johnny Manziel reference is what Drake was saying in the record is <laughs> what happened. Yeah, but we don't care. We don't like it anymore. No, but I'm yeah. just saying. So if you're saying it didn't <laughs> age well, it actually aged right on on cue. But now, it's like a, now it's like a diss record to Johnny Manziel. <laughs> I'm just saying, but it, it aged on cue. Like shit, he was saying it was like, yeah, that that can happen. South by Do we South, think that South, Chance and uh, wait, wait, Drake have met? Wait, hold up, quick story. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know. He didn't know him. He, he threw him a shot. No offense, because I don't know that nigga. <laughs> and then gave him advice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a good guy, man. <laughs> Focus on making records and getting bigger. Right. Like, damn, wait, huh? <laughs> you don't know whether to be mad or take heed. <laughs> this, nigga, <Yeah. laughs> this nigga's crazy. Yeah. South by Southwest, I went in one of them parties that I didn't want to go in. That was, the one, that was the one where a uh, designer was performing... Uh, for like thirty minutes, the same song, but all, I all got, of his hit. It was it was crazy. <laughs> I got hype every single time. But I'm buying a bar, just trying to stay away from people. And a bar is usually a good place to stay away from people. It was in the cut corner, corner, corner. Oh, I know that away. by like where the waiters yeah, and waiters yeah, you know, go. You yeah, know I know vibes. that part. Um, and the OVO camp was over there. Well, <laughs> is that how you guys met? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they were over there, right? And one of them saw me. Uh, and he came over and he dapped me up. This is pre-diss, everyone. Uh, so Joe was in good standing. Yeah. They didn't try to beat you up? <laughs> no. That's nice of them. Yeah, good guys. Uh, and one of them came over to me, right? And I hate when this happens. This is such an industry thing. And he dapped me up and just without even ask, Joe, you ever met Johnny Manziel? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I'm telling you I don't give two fucks About meeting Johnny Manziel But you put me In this awkward position So here I'll extend my hand And he gave me The most arrogant Dap Like in the world I'm not even like, I have uh, <laughs> It's like wait huh? to I didn't even ask someone. To meet this I didn't nigga. even want to meet and you <laughs> that, How I get this <laughs> every, Everything I know About Johnny Manziel That doesn't sound true He wouldn't do that Yeah Down to earth gentlemen <laughs> Everything right I know About him That seems really Out of his behavior yeah. I, turn, I turned around And just went back To my corner <laughs> But That's all you can do at that point, though. It's like, yeah. I didn't even want to say what's up to this Fam, yeah, oh my God, I hate this industry You get bullshit. a disrespectful dap from a dap you don't even want. I don't even want that dap, yeah. That's like when you get dissed by a girl. That's why I hate when a, a girl think you like her. Mm -hmm. That's one of my biggest pet peeves in the world. Because how she could stun on you then... It's like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> and then you don't want to seem like... Because that could turn into he mad because I didn't like him. And it's like, no, I never was yeah, trying to come it's, at it's you game like genie, that. Like, but they could go either way with that one. Yeah, it's like I wasn't trying to come at you like that. Like I'm not mad because you this don't like. And me. then and then when it's quiet, sometimes that turns into, oh, he used to try to talk to me. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't at all. Me saying hello to you is not me trying to talk to you. Yo, I let it be known. Women when I'm have to talk. no idea of who was trying to talk to them. If you just not the slightest to the clue. <laughs> yeah. Like I just held the door for you. Like I, was just, I was just raised properly. Yeah. Like the thirsty have manners, ass. respect. Like yeah. mad thirsty. Bitches always confuse manners with trying to beat. Yeah. <laughs> well, now it's easy to confuse it. I will say that in twenty nineteen, it's easy to confuse because niggas do be on a yo. Let me just be cool, and but I'm trying to beat. So you gotta understand where some chicks is coming from, like because they do turn oh into. My God. Niggas trying to be people are being gentlemen now yeah. to try to get pussy. Oh, of course, I mean, are you kidding me? How dare they? <laughs> <laughs> These dudes are feminists to get the pussy. Yeah, for sure. But like the the corny feminists, not like real feminists. I, I respect them. Like the social media feminists, uh, they're those guys. I'm also sick of you niggas that's besties with like all of the girls just to get everybody's business and spread it all around. In hopes to really try to beat. I'm on to you niggas. Oh, we got a name for those. I'm we on to y'all. We can't say it. It's not PC anymore. 
<laughs> well, you can't say <laughs> You can't say that. Yo. <laughs> no, we can, yeah. we can say do when you, it's not PC. Yo, I didn't say anything. Yo, but do you have, I didn't say I, I anything. I understand that, but do you have a copy of your contract? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. I just got. said we have a name for those guys. All right, segueing out of that. Uh, Thank you, Rory. Do we think the that king. It, <laughs> do we think that it's wild that she still just wants to get high and listen to party? Like, she hasn't grown at all? <laughs> no, we, we, we appreciate you that. Know, you know her, too. Yeah, we appreciate that. <laughs> all, that's all my bitches. <laughs> I was with that line. I was like, damn, they still just want to get high and listen to party. That hasn't changed at all. No, that's still a bop. That's still a vibe. That's still a get the job done. Look, mm. on the first time, yeah, day we met, uh, yeah. That's when Joe closed the blinds. <laughs> <laughs> Why you, you nasty the Why you close the blinds? <laughs> what type of creep nigga closes the blinds? You live in the fucking woods, stand there. <laughs> you a creep if you close the blinds. Like everything. if a song comes on, he just... <laughs> <laughs> like, if you chilling with shorty, then you just close the blinds. Like, Isn't that doing? creepy? Yeah. Open the fucking blinds, man. <laughs> Let the moonlight in. <laughs> this nigga don't even want the moonlight. <laughs> <laughs> he like, turned no, turn into a vampire. I have 73 candles lit. Well, to see, that's what it really be. I, I have all the candles lit, the lamps, the light on. The chick, chick is like, yo, nigga, cut these lights out. Trying to see close every door. Close the natural light coming through the window. Like, set a mood, bitch ass nigga. Joe got the, the, the lights on and the candles lit. <laughs> just one or the other, I'm Joe. That's sick. Yeah, wait. That is sick. And the candles, they don't smell like nothing. No, they just, just there candles. to be lit. Yeah. <laughs> just the, the hotel candles. candles. <laughs> White candles. Just playing white candles. Yeah, they just they, smell like shit. The funny shit, I get up, close the blind. They're, just They're literally the, there for light. They just get in the bed and lay back down. That's my G. <laughs> oh, ooh. you see me laying down? <laughs> I, I, I'm ready. I'm ready for you. Come on, do it. <laughs> Wait, Come on, do it. Do it. <laughs> Come, on. Come on, I'm going to open up, huh? Fair. I'm going to get comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Give it a little bit of thigh, uh, huh? Yo, you I, are I, stupid. Yo, I, I already see two weeks from now. My name uh, is Joe Budden. I just want to apologize <laughs> yeah. for the things that were said. Yeah. I do not believe in for those types of I, actions. For saying I laid down in bed? Yeah. And said, yo, yeah. come on, just do it. Yeah, you can't, you can't say that no more. <laughs> After you close the blinds? Can't say that. Do the thing. <laughs> do the, come on, do the trick. They're going to do the trick, all right? Yo. <laughs> yo, Rory, know the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> I know no vibes. You do know the vibes, You know the vibrations? Nah. Yeah, I don't right. even like that tribe song. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Y'all are some funny dudes. All right, what 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 are we talking about? Oh, Drake, Drake, Drake. Drake. Yeah. Uh, I would have liked um. I would yeah, like to hate fall sleeping for your, alone. I would have liked. I would like fall for your type. The shit he did. The reference well, for he Jamie. Can't do that, Roy. Yes, he can. No, he can't. It's Drake. He's fam. He can pay. He sold a song. It's Jamie. It's on a Jamie Foxx album. <laughs> You can afford it. You know what shit they got around? They got uh, through a Lauren Hill sample in this one. Word. <laughs> like, what do you think? It's Drake. They figured out. So far gone, he got the Kanye shit when he was beefing with him. Yeah. You think true. a Jamie Foxx contract is the one that's going to break it? Well, he paid for that one. Maybe he probably didn't want to pay for this, especially saying so, I don't I know. didn't ask for the, the contract. I just said it would have been nice to have the reference on there. I like the reference. Oh, when Fall <laughs> For Your Type was out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I told all the bitches I was falling for. <laughs> April thought I was falling for. Was that 2011? 2012? 2000? Nah, I 10, 2010. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. And I didn't even, I didn't even get the Jamie Foxx version at that point. Like the leak was enough. <laughs> that shit came. The Jamie Foxx version. That's where Jamie fucked up. His version came out like two years after. We was like, yeah. fam. <laughs> yeah, man, and we, we didn't like. We've his moved version. on from this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah loved, and, we, and he didn't do it. Yeah, we love Jamie, but we ain't like that. And I didn't believe Jamie was falling for her type. You just want an Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> like that falling for a type song is specific about niggas falling in love with. Hoes, strippers, escorts, mm -hmm. bartenders. You know the vibes. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie Foxx is not that vibe. No. That's me and Drake. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that it. Is, that's it. Nobody else. Well, a few other niggas, but we'll respect everybody's yeah. anonymity. <laughs> anonymity. <laughs> Annie Antium. Uh, what is, what, any, any other songs y'all wanted uh, to be there? Club, Club Paradise and Days, Days in the East are in my top five, Drake. List so I was happy. Those Go him, there. man. Go Aubrey. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's all I got. I'm not reviewing this like a new album and new music. No. Nah. So people on Twitter, like, ooh, can't wait to hear what Joe has to say about the care package. <laughs> uh, I have it already. Ben had it for a day. And I saw. I you saw you. Had uh, it too. I saw you give him a little. Uh, I thought this this was about me car video today. No, that was about me. <laughs> 
We're not doing this again. I'm not running. I'm I'm not leaving nope, that. We have that episode. Save on, bring it up. They can just click it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and I didn't do I've, that. I've he's as jealous I, once. Because he's Joe. <laughs> he, he killed me and Puff. <laughs> and then you work together. Killed the whole revolt. <laughs> Oh wait, what's the what's the Drake bar? All my enemies coming together doesn't scare us. Mm. Maybe he was for wow, the, wow. the foresight, the foresight, <laughs> undeniable. He put y'all together on the low. <laughs> Got it. Thanks, you guys. Excellent. <laughs> that was a mistake. I just uh, I just didn't want to start my morning with all that extra slow shit in the front, and I love all of those four p.m., five p.m., six p.m. So I went straight to that, totally forgetting. Uh, all of that, all of the history about me, things about me, the podcast, the Drake. Uh, this is like today. I was able to just ride on my way to work and listen to that song, which I was always been a fan of, of because of that beat, that sample. You know the vibes. Um, and yeah, man. In hindsight, listening to it, it was awesome. That was a great fucking period. And, yeah, and I could tell he was really rapping. I'd, I'd like to hear him rap like that again. No, that was a the dope record. I Five a.m. is his best rapping possibly ever. Think, yeah, He's 5 p.m. Yeah, whatever that was, 5, 5 p.m. PM in Toronto. Whatever, whatever time it was. I agree, it's never, yeah. five, I agree. it's never 5 p.m. I agree, yeah, five, why would it it's always a.m. Yeah, fam, you can get these niggas the look, the verse, and even the hook. That's why every song sounds like Drake mm-hmm. featuring Drake. Yeah, he killed that. It was one line on one of those records I was listening to that was real spicy, too. I forgot, but that ain't even spicy, that's just like <laughs> a, a fact in a bar. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. See. Didn't I just tell you niggas why I wouldn't take the verse in the hook at the strip club? <laughs> <laughs> you weren't going to take his look, too? <laughs> Fam, that's the see that trick coming a mile away. He wears that. At. Yo, let me get a verse. Yo, you want a hook, too? <laughs> well, so he can hop on his song and <laughs> yeah. give you niggas the look, the verse, and eat. No, 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 no. And even the money at Starlet's. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. That shit you doing, Shorty? That was me. <laughs> he gave you something to throw? No, that's dope, man. That's good friends. Thanks, Parks. He didn't do that. Uh, I wish they would have finished uh, him and Beyonce would have finished. Can I? Yeah, I said that for a while because they put it back on OVO Radio like five years later, where it was like fake finished, but mm-hmm. it was still just using that quick Beyonce thing. They yeah. switched the beat and brought it back. Or if the wish... two of them would have finished that record, that rec- record would have been great. Or if she would have collaborated with him on the Lion King project. Ooh, I mean, he does do the Afrobeat shit. Mm, well, he did it for a year, more than a year, <laughs> and then left. And he is the boy. That's true, Park. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, Yo, about I'm the not. Boy. I'm not. <laughs> he is a boy. <laughs> Yo, what a fucking Park! You're not even supposed to be shoot by the three point line. <laughs> Get your ass on the post. <laughs> You're our tallest player. God Get a damn. rebound. Stop shooting. Um. I ain't about to sit here and do a whole deep dive on old songs, guys. No, it. So, not at all. Fuck, fuck that. Like, congratulations to Drake. I still want to know the business behind behind this. Where is this music? What this is, is it? For, Forever Young, Forbidden Fruit. This is the first time it was on just It just OVO, says OVO. Right? So. Yeah. Yeah. That nigga Drake he about to kick a out trillionaire. Real quick. <laughs> Drake is a trillionaire. They need to spend about 4 or $5 on the artwork, so he good. That's all profit. <laughs> <laughs> He did that shit himself in word, in word paint. <laughs> right in the phone. Right yeah, in Instagram. Man, Care toss, package. Tossed this phone his baby. Mom. Yo, just snap this. <laughs> uh, you know what? No, no, I'm going to the house. Take a picture of the car. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going in the house. Yeah, just take a picture of the car. It's called Care Package. Hook it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, hook it up. What's the app she be using? Visco Cam? Do it in there. <laughs> Yo, what is wrong with y'all today? <laughs> I get it. It was use. the Acura. I, I got it. Dude, I used to use that app. <laughs> Vis- visco cam. If like, I th- if I want to post it, and it looks trash. I might visco it up. <laughs> Even today, if, maybe maybe I'll give him a visco. <clears throat> All right, we are just going through it. <laughs> uh, Saturday saying morning in speak. Toronto, uh, weekend put up a billboard that looked like it's an album. Oh yeah, yeah. It says uh, EXO on it, and then below EXO it says where dreams come true. So I don't know if that's just promoting the company or if that's a teaser for an album but I would assume it would be an album it's an album any of yeah. these any, any of these uh, any of these superstar cryptic. superstar dudes that's their rollout the cryptic rollout yeah, yeah. Weekend and Beyonce that's it and Jay with 444 yeah when are they when is Hove gonna instruct him and his wife to just let Nods drop albums. <laughs> like, it's not weird now. Like, it's not a coincidence anymore, right? 
That what? That, that everything what? is I love just said it. came out the same time as the Kanye Nas, and then the Beyonce Lion King came out the same as Lost Tapes too. <laughs> More, come on, tell I, us why. I don't know. I mean, I told you, I don't, I don't, Stop I don't telling them to do I don't that. think artists should run from that. <laughs> That's though. definitely Maul saying, "Yo, yo, Nas <laughs> dropping again this week. <laughs> Let's put something out. You got something? <laughs> no, nah, but got I, some, I, I, yo, that movie you doing? That's what Maul said. Which, which not Nas, little Nas. <laughs> no, never. At, my thing is, I'm not mad at that. If I feel like if a big artist has <laughs> an album cowboy out, hat or Mets hat, which one? <laughs> if a, if an artist has an album coming out and Beyonce has an album. Like now you get music Everybody's on Apple now So if you have a I don't see why artists Should run from that now I don't think it makes a difference Shit I don't, I don't think it makes a difference It makes a big difference I don't think so I'm running from you Beyonce can, I'm running I'm but running why though Like everybody is going to Apple can tune Which means in to 20 episodes ago When we had this same conversation Thank you Rory <laughs> Yeah Yeah but it, I, I, it stands though I don't think that matters anymore We, we consume music doing. differently now I've yeah. said my piece We, argue, that yeah, we argued with you, and you said <laughs> For a long time, time. I, don't, I don't I don't I don't I don't see the difference. If we do it again, they'll think the kings are running out of content. (laughs) (laughs) And we're not. Boy, I tell you. Yeah, that's not our care package. What? (laughs) We're not re-releasing? No, no. Airball. All right. (laughs) Airball the three. It was LU. Yeah, no. That was a pass to Parks. It's a Parks. Who's also by the the three-point line. line. (laughs) Parks is by the three. Parks didn't cut. Robin Lopez, (laughs) head ass nigga. Oh, Brooke. My bad. Brooke. He didn't cut. (laughs) Parks ain't never going to cut. No. No. Um, (laughs) All right, what else is going on in music, in the world of music? State the culture, Rory. (laughs) <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, Maul played Pop Smoke on this podcast, and then it turned into Song of the Summer. Yo, gave it the stamp. Yo, yeah. Let me get let me give Maul a round of applause. Tastemaker, it's a tastemaker. Maul, I'll be honest. When you played that song, he I, wasn't fucking with it. I, said, I know. I said, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this nigga with a cold? I know. <laughs> going on here that you think is about that song in the summer. But then the niggas started talking about killing people. I shut up. Mm-hmm. I know that you have an affinity for rappers that have killed people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so then Rory brings me to the to the Sunday day cool hipster party. Yep. And the record comes on, and everybody in the club knows Let's the see. words to the dude with the cold. Yeah. Yeah. Every single word. The girls do. Mm-hmm. And Push uh, Push brought him out when we was at uh, Greatest Day Ever during Push set. You may have left at that point, but he came out and that whole fucking spot lit up. What's the first line of that song? Because it's really eerie and scary. Welcome to the party. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on. What, what party come on. am I in? Come on, come on. Come on. Why, why is this hood ass nigga welcoming me? Yeah. That feels like, like, let me, get, let me just walk in and find my own spot. That yeah, feels like I'm in Saw 7 and I just woke up from some shot. And it's just a faith. Welcome to the party. Come on, yeah. like, nah, I don't want to be here. Rory, <laughs> welcome to the party. Rory, this is the same. This is the trick, trick move. This is what trick, trick did from Detroit. Welcomed you. Yeah. <laughs> welcome to the and then party. said I couldn't fly here anymore. Yeah. Welcome. You always yeah. you can't be mad at somebody welcoming you. No, niggas was mad if Trick Trick welcomed him oh, yeah, them no, no. to the party. Nobody in was mad. Yeah. Of course yeah. not. <laughs> I've heard plenty of stories about how that turned out. <laughs> hey, niggas, niggas stop popping up at St. Andrews. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like battle rap that much. Yeah. And now I'm cool. I'm cool. Yeah. <laughs> stop being rapper. Only nigga there was Royce. <laughs> I was like, all right. Yeah, oh, no. man. Well, anyways, why I brought it up, they put out a bunch of snippets that Nikki hopped on the record, and the verse sounds good. Mm-hmm. From the snippets I heard, yeah, I didn't. We obviously didn't hit the full record. Yo, but. I'm ready to go in the cupboard and get my barb, my barb outfit. Oh God, what does that look like? <laughs> <laughs> Me cross dressing. <laughs> we don't want to see that. <laughs> oh, what? Well, uh, listen, this is a progressive podcast. If Joe wants to dress like a woman, that's perfectly fine. We will not judge him. Joe's for it. not dressing like a woman. We don't know how he about, identifies anyway. This is about <laughs> I, at you this do. point. Uh, <laughs> no, we you don't. Do. You do. <laughs> You'd know exactly how I identify. In the last few episodes, we're not sure. <laughs> you know how I identify. Listen, if anybody thinks that I'm gay, I'm, I, I promise you I can fight. <laughs> like, so, <laughs> whatever. Niggas love coming to that. <laughs> Niggas, I have not. I promise you. you. I say I see the three. Yo, man, these yeah. last few podcasts. Yeah. I know. Last few podcasts, hands are still there. <laughs> did, yeah. Did they cut my hands off? Yeah, no. All right, so we good. Yeah. What was we saying? All right, anytime, oh. anytime a dude get back to the corner, there's only two responses. I get bitches though. Yeah, and or I, can fight. I can fight. Yeah, either or. Yeah, yeah but do or. I get pussy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, either or. That used to be my line too until I learned that the niggas that said that line it wasn't true. 
Yeah, no. <laughs> it no. wasn't true. 80, 80% oh, of them was lying. 80. No. Yeah. No, 99. Not, yeah, Mark Price numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, Mark Price at the line if niggas say, I got bitches, though. No, you don't. You yeah. got not a one. Fuck, no. be killing his sneakers for 17 minutes. Yo, I get, do I get pussy, though? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Do I get pussy, yeah, though? The bitches like them. That's going to be a forever thing. That's never going away. No, it's never. not. Never. Niggas gonna always go right back to that. Y'all get bitches though, because they dictate so much in our lives. Why? Almost is it? everything. But why? That's just our DNA, man. We dictate a lot in their lives too, though. We just they they just do oh, a absolutely. better job at masking it. Yeah. Well, my listen, <laughs> my my famous hot take, and the women always get mad when I say it, is that the the power of dick, in my opinion, much more powerful than uh, power of pussy. This isn't helping your gay yeah, case. <laughs> I don't know how much power Dick has, <laughs> but if you've explored and did your research, <laughs> then it's only safe to say, yo, I'll, I'll, I'll roll with you on that one. Yo, anytime Erickson get the giggles, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if so you've researched that. Yeah, like, if you've researched that. So, then, yeah, really looking forward to the Nikki feature. Yeah. <laughs> Pop Smoke. It sound good. Thank you, Roy. Back to, back to Nikki. She sounded good. Thank you. Does anyone have a deep dive there? I didn't hit a record yet, so. So, there's <laughs> Yo. No. More. Maul's gonna get you going to LA. Why? We getting him out of here. I didn't hear the record. I didn't hear record yet. Yeah, he gotta go. Well, I didn't hear the record. I didn't, is, is it even out yet? I don't think so. Yeah, no. it's not I even out so. yet. He just played it on at, the, at his album release. I was trying to say before I was so rudely interrupted that I'm going in the cover. To get, <laughs> no one interrupted to get you. My, you. You did interrupt me, Rory. Somebody did. You going in the cover to get your barb outfit? <laughs> To do what? Wouldn't that be like to dance around you guys? What the fuck are you talking about? To do what? Uh, <laughs> finish it. I'm, 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 all right, but don't make me finish it like I'm serious. Like it's really a bar no. outfit in the cup. I know I you don't, don't have I a don't bar know. outfit in here. I, I know long, you don't. Long arms. I'm telling you, long arms. I, I know you don't have a bar outfit. <laughs> I'm sure we got some pink dresses in there we can pull out for you. But why are you? Why what are you I'm trying to, to say it? is Nick, and this is different. For the last few years, I've always been able to spot when her and her team have been trying to conjure up the momentum, right? Mm-hmm. This year it appears successful. I'll be honest, because it doesn't look like she's trying. It still looks like she's trying to me because I've been in the music business, but it's, it's working. It's working. Uh, the freestyles, uh, the Meg shit, everything after Megatron, <clears throat> everything after the record, just in appearances and what she's been. It's, it's working on me. I'm anxious to hear what her next record is. I am. Yeah, the Megatron record is a good record. I, I think this Pop Smoke feature will buy some time and, and give her some time to regroup to find that record. But my thing is, that's not going to be an official remix, right? Because Nikki's good for that. Nikki's good for grabbing the beat, spitting on it. And I think it'll be it. official. I think so. Okay. I think, I, In fact, I think they'll do a video for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Do they have a video for, for it now? Yeah. I think they might do, do it. They one. might do it because this is it's, the video that he has for it now. It kind of feels like the uh, when. Um, What's the Bobby Schmurda record, the name of it? I'm not going to tell you. Well, it kind of feels like at me. Yo, Maul, feel- stop trying to get us canceled, Maul. What you mean? Stop trying to make Rory say nigga. No. <laughs> Don't look dead smack in Rory face and say, what's the Bobby Schmurda song? I wasn't trying to get, hey, wasn't trying to get save, man. I wasn't trying to get Rory canceled. Yo, I just forgot the name of Sony it. That's Sony training. But, but how, how, <laughs> how they shot the video where it was just like they had a record shot in the hood, like yeah, they didn't yeah, spend yeah. much money. That's kind of how... The okay. Pop Smoke uh, video feels, which I, I think they'll do a. Uh, that's why I said the remix. I think will be official because then they'll do another video. Cool. Who's he signed to? You said he, that was his album release that that clip was. Yeah, from? yeah. I think he. Um, Republic. Republic. Yeah. Oh well, Nicki's Republic. So that. Yeah. Okay, I get it now. Yeah, he, had, he got another record coming too. That's hard. I think it's called I Dior. It. I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, he got some joints. How you know joints. all these unreleased records? No, it's, it's out. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's out. Where are you hearing this stuff? <laughs> on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> It's out. Where can I hear it, Mo? On my phone? On all your DSPs. Yeah. Oh, it's, you on, it's, on, it's on Spotify. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that. But he got some shit coming. I'm, I'm paying attention to him. He got some shit. Okay. We got a Ross me track too, list. Me too, after you threatened me in that first song. <laughs> Who threatened you? Homeboy that welcomed me oh, to the party. Oh, uh, welcomed you to the party? <laughs> yeah. What party was that? <laughs> <laughs> I got to know. Was I invited? The funny shit was that party Rory brought me to. Wasn't none of them niggas that was mouthing the word scary. It's never like that. That's when you know you got a good record. When the yeah. kids that's not scary start saying scary yeah, shit. Yeah, but all, and not to that party, but all the 
Especially the hipster white kids. When that's they, when, when I was they, about to slide that kid. When that record came <laughs> that's, when I get that's the record to slide it into, yeah. right there. Once the hipster white kids like find the gun YouTube video and oh, yeah, rapping, yeah, yeah. Oh, you out of here. Yeah. They love, they eat that shit up. Yeah, yeah, they do, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Why is that? I don't know. I Yo, did I know. read something that Chance was giving out Uber rides with his record, his album? <laughs> yes. That, that's Lift, hard. I believe. Lift rides? Yeah. Y'all gonna hate, that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> man. So how does that work? Like when you order a, a certain lift, the, the lift. album is playing only. Chance <laughs> picks me up. Okay, I lift his album <laughs> <laughs> and fucking toss that shit to the so fucking. What's your what's your rating to after the, the moon? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, imagine li- Chance pick you up and be like, yo, this is my new shit. Play yo, it. this is my new shit. <laughs> and you hit cancel from your phone on the ride and just get out at the next corner. Yo, but see, that's why it's fucked up because Chance you is such a, note, a great yo, guy. You tweet, yo, I wish the drivers would stop talking to us. <laughs> Chance hey, is sick for that. That three hat don't even hit the same when the album ain't popping. Yo, that's a sick, that's a sick bundle package. Yo, what, his lift, album? Lift Rod in the album? Yeah. No, just the album alone. <laughs> nah, the you album is a bundle? Fit, if, a lift ride, yo, if a lift ride count as a stream, I'm with Nikki. I'm getting on the radio, and I'm going to be mad. That's yeah. crazy. I feel like such a fool, too, because he got the nerve to call that shit the big day. The big day. <laughs> that day was the tiniest of days. <laughs> that day flew by. <laughs> Niggas ain't revisit that day yet. Yeah, that was a, I, slept, I slept all day. Where did the time go? I woke up at two. Word. Niggas, uh, niggas slept through the day. That was definitely a okay, rainy. I broke that day. I broke day. What the fuck the, is he big talking day about? when you get left at the altar. Yeah, oh, for real. man. What was he trying to take us with this album? I'm not really sure. I still haven't listened marriage. to it. His <laughs> marriage. I'm cool. I still have not listened to it. Yeah, listen to it. Listen to it. I tried. Like, no, I tried now. It. Right, right, right now, no, you guys right, are gonna watch right this second, put it on. reaction video. A reaction. I ain't gonna, it wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. It wasn't for me either. I haven't seen a lot of people that it was for. Yeah. Nah, I would have felt that shit if I was in like Barnum and Bailey and the lion was about to jump <laughs> through not, the little fire it, it, that's circle. What I'm saying. It, it just sounded. I don't even know what that sound is. <sighs> it went over your head. It was too. Play, it was like play play. I don't. I don't get it. I don't know what he was trying to. Nah, I would have wanted to hear that shit if I was like. <laughs> Doped up on tr- on a track and field. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to think of some scenarios where I even even put then that you on. you wouldn't try to hear that. Nah, not at all. That's, that's not the shit. That's you not gonna go make to. you run faster. Yeah, no. I did hear the Twitter clip that said it was Chance's album. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I, I know. I know you guys know which one I'm talking about. <laughs> that's how it sounds. Okay. It, that's exactly how it sounds. Seriously. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm a huge Chance fan. I was very I like, No, he's a, he's a cool I'm dude. Chance fan. We all love Chance. Yeah, he's fam, a cool dude. The but person I don't know. that he saved from the burning car is listening to this. I'm like, damn, man. Yeah. <laughs> you should have <laughs> let me die. He should have left me in the car. He <laughs> should have left me in that car, man. <laughs> he should have left me in the car. But the, the, but the beautiful thing about it is when you're in like a happy, blissful marriage, <laughs> you don't care. <laughs> nothing matters. No. <laughs> you're just going back home to be happy with your wife. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Saved your yo, life. You ch- yo, you on. chance now. <laughs> <laughs> Save Rory's life. Chance. I'm not, I'm not chance. Chance button, B. Chance, chance button. button. You just got to put out a sparkly CD. <laughs> yo, chance hurt us. Remember when he said to take these down? That's a yeah. fact. <laughs> he did. He did say to take. Say, Mom, you can't see the desk. Mm. That's good enough, buddy. That's good. I may go to a concert tonight. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga got a text and went crazy. And Joe, 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 Joe going to reply, yo, where you said, hmm, <laughs> going to a concert. <laughs> What's wrong with you, what? man? <laughs> but why you get why that text? Why are you laughing at everything because, I man, do? Because you got to use that, hmm, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking concert, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Niggas can't go to a concert. No. No, no I think that's fishy. <laughs> nah, one hundred percent. That's fishy. Nah, nah, one hundred percent. That is fishy. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I, hey, I'm, I'm rolling. Laugh at me all you want. I'm rolling. Hey, if you just chime in at a, at the time where you know a nigga busy with a plan, it's fishy. Like you yeah. know, don't chime. In. You, you yeah. thought about that too much. Yeah. Yo, know, might hit the concert tonight. Like, what's the con? Who's performing? What? <laughs> I don't know. No, I want to know where yeah. you're sitting. Yeah, yeah most yeah. importantly, yeah. where are your seats? Yeah. Oh, I'm in the pit, babe. In the pit. Why are you in the pit? You don't have a camera. Yo, that's the shit that I get mad at. Yo. Oh, we're, we're on why the riser. You in the pit? When they're in the riser, <laughs> when they're on the, the soundboards. Come on, why are you next to Usher? 
<laughs> like, when you nah. told me you was going no. to a show, I thought you were just going as a regular Yo, ticket chicks, holder. Chicks love the behind the soundboard video. Oh, yeah. That's their favorite oh, yeah. shit. They love it. And Remember behind. when it used to be side stage? Like, that was the dope thing? Yeah. Nah, it's a soundboard now. Chicks be behind the soundboard with the earplugs. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if your girl come out the concert with earplugs in, yeah. fam, listen, yeah. listen, man, that ain't your girl no more, man. I'm going to just keep it real. <laughs> she got the earplugs on a walkout? What you, what's the front of the house? How close to the speakers? Nah, that's that's gonna, 40s, bitch, now. Nah, bitch, she's going to text you later tell them, yo, I didn't even know I had the meet and greet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you want to let your girl do the meet and greet? Nah, man, nah. don't play with me like that. What if your girl want to meet and greet niggas? Nah. <laughs> nah, fam. She can't meet. Nah, we not But even, we take meet and greets. We not even playing like but that. But we do meet and greet. Yeah, that's, that's a double girls. standard, Maul. I, I don't care. That's a double standard, I Rory and Parks. I don't care. I know it's a double standard. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> niggas, My niggas. girl would not be allowed to go to no fucking meet and greet. But what if it was somebody that she wanted to meet and greet? She going to meet somebody else. As <laughs> <laughs> soon as she come out that arena. You meet somebody else The meet and greet Parks what's up Your girl could do a meet and greet Nah Nah fam Yo men are so insecure Nah Whatever. you just can't meet. What you doing a meet and greet for no, Cause just... she wants to meet why? And greet somebody Why tweet Why do they come to our meet and greet Tweet them I don't know why they come to Don't tweet them My boyfriend yeah. won't let no, me come no. to the meet and greet yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's crazy. Any chance we can <laughs> Yeah word <laughs> Yo, that's one of my. That's another one of my fucking pet peeves. When your girlfriend starts fucking telling the other dude all the shit you're insecure about, <laughs> like, fam, what that are you is doing? No longer your girl. What are you doing? doing? I confided in you. Yeah, she, she we started had a doing moment. that. That's why you're my girl. Yeah. No, nah, that ain't your girl no more. Yeah, she confiding in another <sighs> dude. Your your secrets. Ain't your oh, on Twitter to her favorite <laughs> artist. Yeah, that's, that's not your girl. For a meet and greet ticket. Yeah, no, nah, it's not your girl, fam. We just gonna be honest today, fellas. The meet go ahead meet. and let that I mean, go. But we had we had women that were in relationships coming to our meet and greet. That's still that's most still of his girl. usually with their dude though. But we're I'm gonna say most of them came with their dude. We're polite people though. We're oh yeah, we're gentlemen. Gentlemen, definitely. Yeah, gentlemen. Damn, I, I saw them all holding the door. I wonder if uh, <laughs> any of my girls ever told somebody some of my secrets. Oh, all oh, of man. them. Yeah, come on, man. You know that some of your secrets have gotten back to you. <laughs> like, how do you know that? Around. <laughs> how do you even know that about me? <laughs> yo, yo, I be wanting to fuck with ball too, but I can't say some of the shit on the podcast. <laughs> uh, no, nah, I'm getting. The, uh, anyway, where were we before we started? Uh, we were on, we're on, uh, on we're on music. music somehow. Yeah, uh, Ross put out his track list. He did. Yeah, if this nigga don't just put this album out, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, at this point, right? All this right, is, this is like week. the 09 rollout. Yeah, yeah, it comes out next week. Next week. Next Friday. Uh, I take Ross's intros, and maybe not the intro, because sometimes he literally has like the intro is 12 seconds. Mm-hmm. That first song on all his projects, pretty seriously. It sets the tone, yeah. yeah. I, I, went, I actually went through his whole discography <clears throat> after this Dickie. to make sure I wasn't bugging that that first or second record is always an amazing one. Yeah, I'm I was kind of mad he's starting with Act of Fool yeah. that's been out with Wallet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, I didn't need thing. that as the intro. I said the same thing. Yeah, I was kind of starting with that. Yeah, starting correct. with that. Yeah. Get it out the way. <laughs> <laughs> it might be, but Ross is always so good with those well, first records. Track two. What's your track two say? Turnpike Ike, which <laughs> sounds like my type of shit. <laughs> True. Anytime it's a turnpike, I'm listening. Or Ike. Or Ike. Guys. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Forget <laughs> it. Turnpike Ike. Uh, nobody's favorite featuring Gunplay. Always here for some Gunplay. Oh, man. I like Gunplay. I was happy to see Gunplay on the album. Uh, Summer Rain featuring Summer Walker. You see the entendres. Mm. <laughs> know what that's going to sound like on the West Side Highway at 1130. That's going to be the one. I'm going to have to get my highway to that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's coming. <laughs> uh, White Lines with Dej Loaf. I loved her on uh, the last yeah. Oh, that's going to be crazy. Mm. Big Time Swiss Beats we heard. Uh, Bogus Charms with Meek Mill. Which people are sleeping on that record, by the way. What record? That Big Time record is crazy. Oh, I'm sleeping. That shit is crazy. <laughs> That shit, the track is where crazy. Was, huh? what, was, where, what was the environment that made you, you change? No, just listening to it. You just If you just listen, to, like I started I like really listening to the record. The production is crazy and what he's saying is crazy. I like the record. Yeah. I like the record. I don't particularly love the hook, but I like the record. Yeah, I don't love the hook. That's what it did it for me. Uh, Bogus Charms, Meek Mill. Sure would love that. Mm-hmm. You guys uh, didn't love a Swiss beat hook? That's weird. Usually do. Uh, Rich Lifestyle, Nipsey and Tiana Taylor. We already know what that's going to sound like. 
Amazing. Born to Kill uh, featuring Jeezy. Was that on Swizz's album that the Ross and Jeezy collabed? The last one. It was on someone else's album that Khaled's. Oh. Khaled, I think. That was really, really good. I'm with that. Oh, that's the same record? <clears throat> No, I'm no, no, saying no. the last another, time they collabed, oh, another collab. okay. it was oh, great. Okay, gotcha. But yeah, it's a bunch more songs that There's we a lot wanted of to run through everything. But yeah, yeah okay A Boogie and, and Denzel Curry. I'm with that shit. I like both of them. Yeah, me too. Uh, Maybach Music Six. He just put dot dot dot, and then Go Roses. Oh, you know what time? Know what dot 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 mean? <laughs> you know I mean, Justice dot, League you know got what? off. Yeah. That mean everybody's on that bitch. Yeah. Dot dot dot. Well, no, I thought it was because of the Pusha and and Wayne thing. If Pusha and Wayne is on that record on the track list. If that's the record, listen, man. <laughs> oh, you gonna like that? If Push and Wayne is on the Maybach music? Yeah. I mean I heard what Wayne did to Maybach music before and I heard and what Pusha heard did. What Pusha did, but <sighs> having on it together. You guys can tune into our last episode and hear that whole debate. <laughs> but I guess what I'm saying is Rory's right again. But what I'm saying is, isn't Maybach music normally for, you know, a couple for of people. A bunch of people. Yeah. You wouldn't be disappointed if it well, was sometimes just he does the point Ross, fives Bush, more. and and Wayne. Someone on the hook too. I can't remember who. Well, Parks heard it, so oh, yeah. Parks mixed it. Parks did, fucking tell us it. who's on the fucking song, man. That's that's all, all that was on the song. At least when I heard it, someone well, else could well, have been added. Who did the added. hook? Because the hook is important on the Maybachs. Yeah, it's very important. I want to say it was John Legend, but I could be wrong about that. How you? John he Legend don't no. sound like no one else. <laughs> no, I can't remember. remember. <laughs> I remember. They they played me a bunch of songs. So okay, okay, okay. All right, well, listen, I'm buying this shit either way. Um, yeah, that's the one I've been waiting for. Sounds uh, sounds sounds great. I mean, as much as you could take from a track list, but sound like the songs that... Wait, Green Gucci Suit's not on there? No. no. But we knew that wasn't going to be on there. <clears throat> yeah, it's like a year and a half old, right? Mm, yeah, a year for sure. Yeah. All right, well, shit, I look forward to it. That's it. That's all I got. Yeah, me too. None, none did, me. Uh, did anyone care about Ross vs. 50 this week? No. Okay. What happened this time? Uh, Ross said he's a business, well, someone asked him, would you collaborate with 50? And he said, I'm a businessman, so yes, but more, I'm paraphrasing, but he's cold now, so I wouldn't collab with him. There'd be no point in my business in collabing with him. Okay. <laughs> what did 50 do back? I know 50 did something back. He's doing his power run right now. He laughed and said, you cold too. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's cold? <laughs> Both of them. Ross is not cold. He's not 50 cold. No, 50 said uh, <clears throat> you're cold in the culture now or there's something along those lines. Ross isn't cold in the culture. I don't think so. I don't, He's of course not. I, come on. I just mean, music. of course I I don't just mean that. musically. That's all I meant by Is 50 it fair to cold. judge 50 uh, musically He's even though cold. He's, He's not really making music. He's not making music. But that's, I think that's what Ross said, right? Yeah. That's all he said. It wasn't a, it wasn't a, I don't think it was a shot. It was like, yo, it, no, was, a I mean, it, it was, was a shot. It was a shot. He's not making shot. music though. But that's not what he said. No, I think what 50 said was sass. No, but Ross didn't say He's not making music. He never said that. What did he say? He said if homie was still making fire like he used to, then sure. But he ain't hidden like that. He don't have no value. Now, that, that's where the spice comes. Because 50 has a lot of value. He has a lot of value. He has a lot of value. In today. music? In, in, in the industry. Don't, no, I'm talking don't about box me in with. I'm talking nah, about but music. if you saw Rick Ross feature in 50, you'd be excited about that. Uh, I Only saw because it. of their history. Correct. Yeah. But if I, I saw a 50 would. Cent new song out right now, I wouldn't rush to listen to it. Oh, I would probably rush to listen to it. No, you wouldn't. Well, I uh, saw some tweet that showed that the 50 and Chris Brown, I'm a man record, has outcharted any Ross record in the past <clears> however <throat> many years it was. That's, oh, that was well, a big well, record. Uh, it, was, yeah, it was a good record, too. That was a long time They ago. dropped the ball on that record. record. It's a really good record. It's a great record. Even like though the version ago. without Chris Brown is even better. Maul talks about 50 like... No, Maul, Maul has... Maul just sounds like 50 shouldn't even be in the same music conversation with Ross, just in terms of music making ability. I sound like that? That's not what I'm saying at all. I just think that Ross is more relevant in music today than 50. Well, one is making music one and one is, is not. actively th- making I'm, music and one I'm is I'm just retired. saying what it is. Who is more valuable today? <clears throat> as far as what? Music? Period. See, that's where we are. Probably 50 as, still. 50 would be more valuable. I would yeah. say 50. So then that's why I take that that Ross comment as spice because I'm talking about music. I'm not talking about endeavors away from music and but when, all. But when Ross says or when anybody says I'm a businessman, that is not restricted to music. It's business. So you telling okay. me so you telling me that if there was a grand opportunity for a bag with 50 in some type of in some type of television series or whatever. Well, before you. you start, I, in in Ross's fairness, I believe the question was about music. 
That's all. Would I'm you collaborate about. with Fifty now? And I think they meant music. Oh, yeah. okay, got it. I didn't get that. Yeah, they're not yeah, talking yeah. about him, them opening a wing stop together. <laughs> <laughs> they're not talking about so them doing different. a TV Why show you? together. Okay, got it, got it, got it. All right, all right that music. makes more sense. Yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah. Music. I mean, and that's what I'm saying. I think it was Spice coming from 50. For him to say that Ross isn't relevant to the culture, like, come on. That, no, no, 50 said more than that. Don't do that. What did he say? I hate when y'all try to act like y'all don't understand what somebody's saying. What Actually, else did he say? Did he not say what I just said? He said there's different types of artists. And I'm paraphrasing, of course. But he said We don't have to paraphrase We can pull up the clip The 51 or the uh... No the 51 The response Oh That's gonna take me a second Well we ain't gotta We ain't gotta play the clip yeah. uh, What I pulled from what he was saying Was There's different types of artists That are popping mm-hmm. There's the artist that recognizes He's not so popping And just coattails The popping artist To get by And then there's the artists That are getting by And each artist Knows the difference You know who you are You know which club you're in When it comes to that Mm-hmm. I don't know if he was implying that Ross is uh, relying on niggas' coattails to get by. I've never felt like that about Ross. I haven't yeah, either, but that's what I think 50 was saying. You're relying on the popping people around you to keep your career going. I don't think that's the case with Ross at all, yeah, but I think that's what he was saying specifically about Ross. Yeah, I don't think that's true. Where's this little jackety jackety thing of a jiggy? Here we go. I found it. Let's go. I mean, here. he does have a lot of features on his album, but they're not necessarily like Riding the person that, yeah. yeah, like, oh, he's popping. I got to ask you this because it's new. Uh, Rick Ross in an interview was asked if he would ever do music with you, if he could put his beef aside. And he said he would if you had any more value, mm. but you, you're not that guy anymore. That's what he said. Uh, do you care? Does that make you okay, feel Okay, yeah, that sounds like music. No. I, it, I don't know what the, his value is to music culture at this moment. Would you make and he wouldn't know because he's not doing music. I never made music with him. I don't have interest in making music with him. You watch guys. There's a lot of these guys, they, even when you when you make reference to music culture and stuff like that, they one trick ponies. So they're gonna go. It'll be gone. I said you in hip hop. They said now what have you done? What have you done for me lately? Mm-hmm. All right. So they watch. You can get next to the guys that got momentum and try and survive based on that, but it's not a lot going on there. Embrace debate. <laughs> uh, I don't feel Ross does that. Yeah, I don't in fact, I think artists have done that with Ross. They've done that with Ross before. So I mean, you know, and again, is is Ross the hottest right now? No, is he? You know, it, so I mean, I'm not saying that Ross is super, but to say Ross isn't relevant to the culture at this moment is just wrong. That's that's false. He's he's very much relevant. Yeah, you know, it's just a little spicy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it was a little yeah. spice. Got, you know, naturally. It's, it's a little, it's a little you can't get no, I thought it was a good, good big response. Up your, big up your enemy. Yeah. <laughs> actually, you can. That's actually, that's actually dope when you do that. But, especially if it's spicy. And especially and, when and you just, you're just you wearing such a different hat now in the culture. Like, 50's not engulfed in music at the moment. So it's kind of like he he's playing a different sport right now. So it's like, yeah, he got it. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I understand what he's saying. I don't have value in rap or, or at this moment. Like, nobody's going to rush to do a record with me right now. But to throw the spice on it is just like, uh, you know, yeah, you still feel a way about the history there, which is understandable. But yeah, they I, think, I, I, I don't was, think he was either, a little, he was a little off either of them care. Saying. I think Big Boy asked him that question because that's what interviewers do. And I think that dude did the same thing because Ross said something. I don't think Ross is bringing up 50 in any interview unless he's asked that question. I don't think 50 is bringing up Ross in any interview unless he's yeah. asked that question. No, I, I, I agree. I, I, I don't think, think they're both, both of them give a fuck. They're both yeah. beyond that at this point, I think. I think they would never really. Beefing. No, they were beefing. No, they were beefing. <laughs> they, was beefing. No, they were really beefing. <laughs> Trust me, Roy. That was a big, real beef. Yeah, that was beef. I, was, I wasn't a kid, guys. I, I remember. Yeah, all no, of that. Obviously, you I don't. Was around <laughs> them I don't at know that what time. You, no, you weren't you around wasn't. if you were saying no, that. No, you wasn't. It wasn't yeah, beef. Was it was a, beef. Like, real behind the scenes. It was beef. Beef. Fuck them records. Going to your mom's job. I, I, <laughs> me, we was at the BT Awards. <laughs> we sent a nigga. It was tension. <laughs> <laughs> Shit got physical. Trust me. We could pull up the gunplay video right now. Shit Okay, maybe I'm. Relaying that to 50s beefs Is what I'm suggesting Oh well I'm just letting you know You're Ross, saying entourages Touched each other To me that's not beef When it comes to 50 That's what hmm? I'm referring to That's a, It's a direct association No I'm talking about 50s history And actually beefing with people That was beef 50 and Ross had real beef Is all I'm saying <laughs> That was real beef If during Min- Minuscule if, to what 50 is beefed with Is what I'm suggesting Any rap beef is minuscule To what 50 has gone through <laughs> Rory So yes you're correct there, but you're wrong. They were really beefing. <laughs> yeah. If 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 at any if during any rap beef somebody goes to my mom's job, this beef is over. Yeah. 
You want to have another debate? About? You got one? Discographies? I got one. Oh. Who? Don't say nothing stupid. (laughs) (laughs) We was on the topic, but go ahead. What you was about to say? I need a girl part one first, and I need a girl part two. (laughs) Didn't we do that? No. No. That's that's like Ether versus Takeover. What's the right answer? (laughs) We did a... We did something like that. We never did. We mentioned it. I need a girl it? part one versus I need a girl part two. But let me. Hear oh you. no, it was confessions. That's what we did. Yeah. Let me hear your discography one that you got. And you looking at you're, me with the stupid. He's gonna do already. a 50, 50 Ross, but yeah. I thought we did that. We've done that. Did, did we play records though? No, we we, never we did talked that. about all the way down to who's more oh, ri- yeah, <laughs> <laughs> introspective. Like we, I mean, we, we didn't want to try to rig the no, fight. No, no, we was we <laughs> talking about it's, it's just on, it's on it's on uh, on brand. Like give you me, would say. give me Ross versus Game. We could do it. I'm, no, give that's me a, a That's one. a good debate. That is good. That's a good one. That's a good one. Let's wait till next Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to sit with that. I can't give you an answer right now. Yeah, let's wait till next Friday. Ross. You going Ross? I'm going Ross. Yeah, I think I'm I don't going know Ross. if I'm what? running to Ross. I think we're going Ross. What out? Al- who has the better album? Between I'm Ross, a, I'm assuming. <sighs> I think Ross has a better disc. I like, I like you Tef- think I like Teflon Don better than uh, the doc- doc- than doc- the documentary. Yeah. <sighs> Just because Ross, is, I don't know, dog. Ross's rapping was better. The production was better on documentary, though. But Ross raps better than he raps game. Better. Yeah. Oh, wh- all right. All right. Hold y'all, on, y'all, All right. <laughs> no, Ross wait, don't rap. Y'all are just rushing us or shit. Okay. <laughs> Everyone, huh? we're just rushing to say Ross rap better than Game. Yeah, yeah yes. I'm. I, I will run to. I that. like Game, and I like Game, but I would run that he raps. Better y'all than have game. game all the way fucked up. I think y'all have Ross fucked up. Yeah, Game raps well. Game can rap. Let's not get it fucked up. The Game can rap, but and he don't and rap. And there's way more evidence get, of I'm, Game I'm, rapping I'm, than Ross I'm rapping. Nah, get, I'm nah. Tripping. <laughs> tripping. I'm trying to get a Ross interview, and. I really don't fuck with the game at all. <laughs> I, I want to stay out of. This. You guys think the volume <laughs> no, of you guys think the what volume of rapping that Ross has put out is game is wrong? No, nah. we're not. You think game is a better rapper than Rick Ross? <laughs> no, I don't think that. Okay, I know that. You just think that? Doc- <laughs> no, you huh? don't know that. Yes, you don't. I do. know I'm you going know. with Joe. You can't prove that. You I don't know that, it. and you can't prove it. The discography no, one, I'm not jumping on yet because it's subjective. It's subjective. Yeah. Um. We've got a real argument with the documentary versus Teflon Don. For sure. Teflon Don I love because it's c- a concise. It, it ain't too documentary many. Documentary got no tears of joy, bro. I, mean, I don't know that to be true. From scratch, I don't Start from scratch. I don't know that. Start from scratch on documentary is, is on that cloth. What's the uh, whole record called? He ain't got that either. Freemason. What? Uh, Fam, you have the Ross documentary. Makes better. I makes- love the documentary. I love that album. It doesn't sound like it. Documentary was a great album. Great album. But I'm just saying this guy. I don't want to hear like, you no more. I don't want to hear you no more now. Now I don't want to hear you no man, more. Fuck, dude, we just play West Side Story. No, no, no. I'm just coming in with this, Rory. <laughs> just send him up. <laughs> <laughs> and we can look, leave look, that alone. No, 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 no. Let's leave the hits alone. Don't even touch a hit. I'm still stuck on y'all saying Ross that quickly is a better rapper than Game. Yo, he's talking to y'all. Y'all know that Young Buck came, right? <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember that? Yeah, you go straight to that. That's how you know y'all scared. Why? I'm not scared. That's part of There's his discography. Like 11 yeah, songs on you here. went straight to that, though. I mean, what That's you part want? of discography. Oh, that's like me going to hate it or love it first. Look, go, ahead. go Go that's, to it. I you decided to play If I play no, hate it or love it. That's the biggest record. I didn't go to the biggest record. I if I play hate it or love record. it, you might as well shut most of this shit off. No, it's not. Nah. Why? Why do not you say this. that? Ooh, all right. Justice League is winning right now. Yeah. That's part of the argument. My garage is flawless. <laughs> <laughs> Parks, but turn down. Ross, though. No, play low. I just want to say you're you're playing me Ti now. Okay. So still, still on the, the album. album. Still on the album. <laughs> We're talking about the album here. Ross raps better than in the game, fellas. All right, so let's do this. Bef- we talk about turn, rapping it off, more. Turn it off. Turn it off. Not, so, not so flows better. So not let's do this. Rapping. So no, let's do does. this. Maul, no, he let's doesn't. Not, not, all right, so let's do this, Maul. Let's do this. Who has a better flow? Ross. Ross. That's not true. 
<laughs> what? Russ has one fucking flow. So? You're telling me the guy with one flow raps better than the guy with a bunch of them. All right, the game it, has a it, bunch of it, flows? Forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it. If, if, y'all, if y'all can't even cop to that, the game then we can't have an honest... I didn't, I didn't know the game has a bunch of flows. He has a bunch Certainly of flows. Certainly not a, a documentary. Lot, a, lot of people call, a lot of people call him a chameleon. They say he could just mimic some shit that a he hears. A chameleon. That's what, that's yeah, true. one of his albums, every single uh, feature, damn, he copied I'm their flows. I'm not flow. lying, man. No, yeah, but I, 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 but, but, I, 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 I man, do I fuck with him? No, but fuck listen, that nigga. But listen, the fuck but listen, is you talking about? But listen, no, but, but you missed what I'm, I'm saying, more, though. Go ahead. I'm, I'm just saying that Ross is a better rapper than the yeah, game. Yeah, I put more stock into someone that is very dope and original with their style than someone that just does a bunch of blood and shit. But game just, he did that after the documentary, what flow is that? That's his. I take Ross's discography over the game's discography personally the MC in me can't say that Ross is technically a better skilled rapper no than way in hell the game no, who's better lyrically game the game, game. <laughs> what what is, what is making y'all say these things alright play the record to me that made you say he's better Please. lyrically than Rick Ross just play that record right now well, don't ever think I, I wasn't. I don't think I was ever home and said, "Ooh, <laughs> game lyrically is crushing Ross." I don't I, think I okay, ever well, said that. Okay, well, just somebody play a record for me where they feel like this. This says, he's and I'm better. not even sure. Let me see. Where does game fall on the on my top 100 list? I don't think I remember. I remember where Ross fell. I don't remember where game fell on my list. Where did Ross fall? I don't want to say until I remember game. Okay. Um. Uh, I just told you behind the scenes. Did you hear me? Sure, yeah. yeah. You, th- you know, there's a camera that's where, right there. It's fine. Yeah. They can see it. I just don't want to say it until we, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's where Ross fell for me. Listen, I can't, I'm not going to have this talk. You I have want, game higher than that? I never really thought about game where drinking. I put game. Okay. But he wasn't far from Ross. That's fair. I'm not saying that he's like light years better. If somebody, and this is just my thing, and let me, let me take this off game and Ross, because what I'm saying is not specific to just them. If, if a rapper has better content, and what I mean by better content is, is able to rap about a wider array of things than the other rapper, I score one for rapper A. Okay. And that's game in the instance of game and Ross. I mean... Don't, I mean, like, these, these are uh, Ross... Is come on, man. Y'all gonna make me sound like I'm, I'm hating on a nigga I love. Ross is kind of two dimensional in the content. Okay. Game is not. <laughs> Game by, by gonna 900 <laughs> bar you over here. He's gonna give you some rap history encyclopedia shit over here. He's gonna tell you about his family shit over there, the gang banging shit over here. And then he's gonna talk about some hoes, all the hoes being on. He's gonna give you a song about his kid. He's like, he, he, he will switch it up a lot. Mm-hmm. If Ross does that, then enlighten me. I haven't heard that throughout his discography. You haven't heard what? A, a wide variety of topics. Which is fair. That's fair. So, so I would check that one to game. Ross is the master of that one flow. That, that's he why is a master. I give people that are masters at their one thing, even if it's a one-dimensional thing, I'm giving them an edge up over a chameleon. Personally. But if I'm talking but about the ability a- to the, the, just your skill set as a rapper, then I have to acknowledge the guy who can switch up the flows. I'm not saying that I have game... to check that box for game. Yeah, no. Like even if I like Ross better as a rapper, which I do, because uh-huh. that's my vibe more. If I'm just into technicalities, I can't say that Ross is a better rapper than game. Maybe makes better music, and I won't argue with y'all. But just turn the beats off and let's rap. If I'm going, to, if I'm going somewhere in, in the cipher and it's Ross and game. Come on, y'all. Come on. That's all. Who, Let's who just have, have a fear. Let's just have a fear conversation. Who have the better rappers rapped with more? Oh, I can't even answer that. Okay. Game is rapped with all, all of the great rappers, too. Like, okay. he's collabed his way to fame. Okay. So, my natural answer would have been Ross, but Game is rapped with a bunch of them. Yeah. Like, the yes. greats. Yes. He has, like, seven records with Nas. That's a very good argument. Listen, I say all the time that game is like my West Coast Ross. Fair. That's what I say. It pains me that we even bumped into this conversation. <laughs> I don't want to have it. That's a, it's a good conversation. Though. It really is. Hip-hop. 
And, no. and for the record, because I don't need nobody tweeting. No, I like the game, and I like Likewise. Ross. Period. But we're just having a debate. That's all. Debate better not lose my Ross interview. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Coming on here giving some fucking opinions about some yeah. shit. Damn, man, this nigga ball, man. And let me just say, that's not a slight to game. If you, it's not like for you to say, Ross probably has a better discography than a lot of people. He does some of the music. So, that so Ross does game. Has, yeah, also. game has a, a, a really great discog- discography too. Some of the music that Ross has given away for free is better than some niggas' albums. Facts. I agree. Like some of the projects that Ross has given away is better than some okay, niggas' whole What was the joint that should have been an album? Oh, uh, the black market. Was no, that? that was the album. Uh, the, the, one the one before, before that. that. Yeah, was it? Um, I forgot what it's called. Rich Forever. Rich yeah. Forever. That should have been an album. But nah, just the volume of what Game has done too. Rick Ross has probably close to the same amount of albums as. No, as I'm Game. talking about blog mixtape beefing with G Unit, five thousand records. Like Game has just rapped a lot more. I don't know about a lot more. Game has, without a doubt, with. Without a question, bar, rap more than Rick Ross. That's bar. what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah, okay, bar for bar. By far. But he's just one of those artists. But Ross not, has a lot of projects. And Game does. has a lot of projects. Listen, all of that is great. I hear what you're saying. But let's just slow down. No, y'all, y'all look confused. Y'all look confused. Let me help y'all. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh. Yep. Don't play Maybach music again. Don't ask me when you about to do that, nigga. Let me know when you want to play a fuck. Don't do that again, nigga. Fuck is wrong with you, you nigga. You better Maybach music? Don't. Relax is what I'm saying. God damn it. Just because yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all just. I was going to say, it's like a seaside, too. Like, this that's ain't what, even I, a didn't, hit. I didn't like how he. Or like, <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't like how they tried to throw Maybach music on first. Yeah. I could have went to one of the hits off the record. I didn't. <laughs> Stop staring at me, nigga. 
I want you niggas to start putting a little more respect yeah. on Ross' name, B. Fam, we love Ross. Just a little more respect, though. We respect Ross. Yeah. I love him a little more, too. We've only too. done a thousand <laughs> podcasts. How much we Just love, love him. him a little more. I got you right now. I got you. I got you. I'll turn up. All right, I, was, I got you. Was, okay. All right, let's come on. We're a team still. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's all just right. a little more descriptive right, for right, Ross. Right. It's a little more yeah, descriptive. James can't do that. Not that. That's Ross, what Ross, Ross is, is great is more at. descriptive than, than, than everybody, pretty much. True. And game can rap. Game can rap very well. But he can't do that. Ross puts right, you in a place. That's, that's one point. He puts you in a place. No, that's a big point. <laughs> he's descriptive. He is. Yeah. And yeah. he's probably one of the best at that. Ross is a better rapper. Great debate, fellas. Yeah. Great debate. <laughs> but I think <laughs> Ross is a better rapper. But you think Ross is a better rapper than a lot he's of pretty rappers? Pretty much everybody. Ross is a better rapper than people think he is. Yes. Where do you have him? For me personally, oh my god, uh, he, Jesus. I don't know. <laughs> I hate when niggas. <laughs> objectively, no, objectively. Uh, yeah, I mean, he would have to be rap my top fifteen. Really? Yeah, that's saying something. He can rap. He can make songs. His disc, his discography. I mean, we talking about the full embodiment of what an artist is. Yeah, I'd probably. A lot of dudes can rap better than. Yeah, him. I'm not just, sure. Just I, rap. I have him between 25 and 35. I have third, probably 30. Yeah. Discography though, you're not. Discography, gonna, no, 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 I'm still talking about rappers. Yeah, but just, that, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm putting all of that. I'm combining all the elements. Rap. Yeah, no doubt. His ability to make songs, his albums, like I get I'm it. Combining all, a lot of dudes rap better. Just absolutely, rap, absolutely. But their albums is kind of like ah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's where I'm going with it. Yeah. Like, I'm thinking about all of that. So for me, yeah, top 15 for sure. That's reasonable. I think it went straight to the Maybach music going on. I yeah, like that was that. mafia music. I am, whatever it, it was. was, I didn't like that. I didn't like how you did that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't want to play the hits first. It's a hit. Is it? It's less a no. hit than... No, 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 no. It's like the fifth biggest song in that album. I can't believe that y'all, that y'all don't think... Uh, that y'all think... You think Teflon Don is better than Documentary. That's crazy. If it's not but, better, it's right there. Yeah. I think it's better but I'm gonna tell you what it, it's a not, lot of listen that's why I say that and that, Teflon Don is in my top 10 albums this decade okay that's a fair this decade it should be I'm only yeah. having this beef because documentaries last decade yeah, yeah. right right. I, well, think, I think they're both classics decade. and I don't give yeah. up the classic just for the fuck of it mm -hmm. yeah. I think they're both classics absolutely I would give Ross the nod because I probably lean more to a condensed classic yeah okay but but a, that's the thing why I'm, I'm leaning towards documentary because when does a classic have that many songs? That's yeah, <laughs> like that's the wild part. Like documentary is flawless and it's like fucking seventeen records. Yeah. Well, this is why. Damn, just that fast I switched it to the Ross. But good, cause I don't fuck with game. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is why I have to uh, now switch over and give it to Ross. It's Which point? That Rapper, discography. Neither. For this for the conversation we were having before the podcast when y'all were dissing me. Okay. And I was like, yeah, but there's something to be said for the niggas that just continued. To, the niggas that rap great and made great rap music without the super A&R there. And that's what Ross has done. So yeah. while I'm arguing... He for is the, the super A&R. He's the yeah. super A&R. So while I'm arguing for the documentary... Not for nothing, though. I meant to bring this up last week and, and when we bring up the Wayne argument. You know, we never talk about the ghostwriting bars as it pertains to Wayne. True. We talk about it. Well, we never talk about it here, but not, we've talked about it among not ourselves. Not enough. With the documentary, no, I, 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 actually, I want to take a time out and give Manny Fresh his flowers because he also came up under one of the best producers of our lifetime. One hundred percent. And as, did, and quickly while we're did, uh, on the game, game and the Dre. super producer, yes, he had Dre for the first two. No, I he think had game, fifty for his first album. He had fifty and Dre. That's that's why I'm 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 no, going no, to I'm, Ross now. I'm saying further on his in his career, I think he had a great ear for beats without them. For sure. Who game? Game. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm still giving him a good ear. He's not. Ross when it comes to an ear. I don't know. But I think Game has a good ear. I don't know where Game's career trajectory starts off if 50 doesn't give him that album. Let's not say he gave him the whole album. He did give him, give the, him album. The, the biggest records, Hated to Love It, What We Do. Yes, he started it for sure, but I, I don't think all these records are 
fifties, and I don't even think Fifty would say that. He said I gave you fucking the five best records. Which of the five? Hate it or love it? Uh, how we do? Higher was a fifty record. Okay, I didn't know that. Higher. Like I have to pull I'd, up, pull up. But the track I wouldn't list. even put higher as. I don't know if that's top five for me on the, on this album. It's a good record. I love the record. Yeah, it's a good record. I love the record. It's a really good record. I don't know if it's five out of that, but other than that, these are all Drabies. Either way, Ross Ross has been without Shakir for how long? Like <laughs> Ross has just gone in the studio and continued to deliver the same kind of quality music without a without a drop in quality. Mm-hmm. So I guess I would give the nod to Ross in that respect that he's been doing it. Him. Okay. Well, let me quickly resort that to kind of what we were saying before. I love that Ross sound, but when he goes in that studio. Ross knows exactly what sound he has, and it's worked for him, and that's great. Game is all over the place in a good way. He doesn't have that perfect, all right, Justice League's like, nope, put that in a folder just for Ross. That's the Ross sound. Bink, no, that's just for Ross. Like, producers do that. Yeah, can't with say game, that. He's, he but does you anything. You can't say that with, with his biggest sound. record. I'm saying, I'm saying that, that he doesn't have You can't say that with Ross's biggest record is a trap record. Ross has the trap shit. I'm not saying all this shit is that li- rich lifestyle shit. Right. Ross has that, uh, what was it? Lex Luger started that little sound. Like yeah. that shit was Ross. Yeah. And people put beats away just for Ross. So he walks in and says, all right, I got the trap shit. I got the rich lifestyle and shit. Not for nothing. That's I think easier. people put beats away for game two though. And not for nothing. But Ross, how at this Ross, point? Ross, like, I also have to give a little bit more credit all because sound different. he innovated that sound. So game, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. game didn't innovate a sound. That's a fact. He, he, def- he definitely didn't. But Ross <laughs> brought that to the game. Not the game, the rapper. The, yeah, to I know the music. <laughs> Fellas, listen. Ross is a better rapper. It's okay. I better the, better, game, better song he, maker for I'm sure. Just, I'm Ross not is a better, say better rapper. Game has a lot of good music, though. I'm he gonna, does. I'm going to go. It's a very I, tough argument. I'm saying I don't think there's Are a wrong Are we doing our answer. final conclusion? Yeah. I don't think there's a wrong answer. Ty? <laughs> no. Ross is a better rapper. Uh, I'm like going Ross with better. Ross as a better discographer. Well, he has more money. I think game is a better rapper. Because niggas somewhere is like, that's part of some niggas' argument. Fuck all that. Fuck all that. Who got more bitches? Yeah, like yeah. somebody fuck this man. <laughs> Listen, they're too close in skill. Come yeah, on, let's get ignorant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who got more bitches? Yeah, yeah, I think Ross got more cars. Yeah. Than you. I don't know, man. Got the biggest know. swimming pool in Atlanta. Yeah, B. You know what I'm saying? You got to start. I mean, game like that. pool is nice. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it works. <laughs> Always clean. You know, it's just big, is what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, that's yeah. funny. I gotta say, uh, for me, that Ross game debate will probably be one of the tougher debates that you can conjure up. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I agree. Actively in hip-hop. Right Hell now. yeah. Yeah. Well, we don't ever want to argue about, like, an easy win. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, why would we want to... Well, that, that's what I've hated about this Wayne, Pusha, then Ross Kiss and Game. Because, like, I, Kiss Fat, I love every single rapper we're naming. Right. <laughs> and now I got to sit here and, like, kind of fake discredit them no, when I argue my make, point. You got to make valid points. That's all. Yeah. You ain't got to, you ain't got to like, beef about it. Yeah, but I, don't, I also don't want to sit here and big up niggas that I don't really want to big up. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Hey, whatever. Fuck it, man. It's being objective. Yeah. Yo, you cool. You all right. <laughs> Yo, you all right or what you doing? Yes. You cool. Uh, um, do we want to stay in music? Still, still what else? What else? Nine, Ninety-three minutes in, we have yet to touch this ASAP Rocky shit. But that's still music. Oh, before we do that, we I, we're I not gotta, that yet. I gotta just the Young Dolph album. Like I'm listening to that. Oh yeah, hadn't had a yeah, chance. Young Dolph and Key Glock, Dumb and Dumber. I've some seen shit it, on but it. I haven't, I haven't peeped it. And it's we good? Just, uh, yeah, we just got to talk about Dolph more independent. Okay. On his own shit. We we preach I'll be that. Honest, I don't listen to Dolph, but a lot of all a lot of the people that I know do, and every time they are playing his shit, I really enjoy it and I laugh a lot. Nah, yeah, I fuck with Dolph. He's hilarious. Yeah. Mm. I like. I just Dolph's like what good. he's doing, the business wise, the way he move. He do his own shit. Like I, I got to salute that. Who, who? Yeah, we uh we tried to book him for Palooza. Oh yeah, Dolph is getting money. <laughs> oh no, oh, oh no, 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 no. I got so, that shit back. I was like, whoa. No, no doubt about it. Uh, what yeah. y'all thought y'all was paying? The <laughs> Wale rate. Fam, <laughs> <Don't, all right. laughs> what? It does cost more to book Young Dolph than it costs to book Wale right now. Okay, it does. You don't but have to compare one thing. You could just, you could just say Dolph get money. Joe know what he's doing. <laughs> I know. It's just Joe just Joe playing stupid right now. He know what he's doing. <laughs> he know that I, was, that was a shot. Wally well, called a stray right there. Oh, well, I didn't for no to. reason. I know. I know you didn't. He's with a stray. He wasn't even walking on that block. That's why it's called a stray. <laughs> I didn't mean to. It's called a stray for a reason. Don't you didn't mean to. Like don't it went through the, the window. Wale you, debate you, started. Don't oh get them. Don't get no, me riled up. No, we're not. we not ready for that. Don't get me riled up. Yeah, no, no, no. That's a pretty good debate. 
Yo, now that I think about it, no, Joe. <laughs> look, 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 he he ready. Well, Helena, stop. Don't touch me. Stop, man. He you know what I'm saying? He was no, stop. No, yeah. we not we not doing it. Y'all no. think, think if I call Wale, he would say he rad better than me? Yes, one, one, one million percent. You think he would believe it? I don't know what he believes. Yes, I'm just telling I, you what I think he, he would say. believe it. Yeah, I'm just telling you what I he do. will say. He will say yes. Go. On. What's what's ASAP Rocky? <laughs> he he is freed. It's free to and I think there's a lot of did. niggas that think they probably could rap better than Joe. Oh, yeah. That think, yeah. More that, than would make you comfortable. I doubt that. I don't, don't get me mad, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me angry. We in, we in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going to do shit. I don't think it's a whole bunch of rappers that think they could rap better than me. I don't think that. Oh, there's probably a lot. No, I think there's so. a lot that are just unaware. Oh, that's different. Yeah. That's different. Oh, I don't mind that. You be unaware. I'm retired, nigga. I'm fucking pulling up. <laughs> don't pull up some fire. State in the culture. Yeah, that's all. And listen, I don't think I'm talking shit right now. Of course, I don't think Wale gets the credit that he should get. No, all right, himself. you could listen to episode. <laughs> <laughs> I called Wale the other day and I said, "Yo, at this point, it's it's solely an indictment on you and your team that you have a new record out, and I have millions of listeners a week, and I like you, and we're friends, and I have yet to get with you. That's not an indictment on me." Like, <clears throat> I'm a little confused by it, to be honest. <laughs> I saw him doing his rounds. He went to title. I saw, I saw him throwing on his, his promo on hat. Yeah, I liked it. I was like, oh, look at Wale getting along with everyone. <laughs> I do like friendly Wale. Me too. I like when people are friendly with Wale. I do. Um, we have yet to talk about ASAP Rocky yet. But, oh, video. Yeah, uh, Rhapsody just put out a record with, uh, with Jizza and D'Angelo. And with, Parks uh, has mixing questions. <laughs> I was just wondering why D'Angelo was so loud. Uh, we could call Guru. <laughs> After he was so low on his own album. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Black Messiah couldn't hear D'Angelo well, one time. Black Messiah, he whispered through the whole entire album. But, yeah, but and you, then they buried the whisper. Yeah, but Rory and all of his hipster friends made us feel a way when they just kept tweeting, oh, album of the decade. And I was like, <laughs> that, but, I, but, I tweeted that. I said, but Rory, <laughs> we can't hear what D'Angelo, that's, he meant to do it. Yeah. yeah. It was lo-fi. Put, put your fucking ear closer to the speaker. Lo-fi. <laughs> lo-fi. Yeah, like y'all want the HD shit. Like, but why come did on, he, let's but get back Rory, to the essence. Come on, Sony, man. Yo, remember, that grimy yo, remember shit. every time everyone wanted to get back to the essence? <laughs> oh, God. And they never got there. What, what's the essence? It's a festival. <laughs> That's shitty, it. Shitty mixes, apparently. <laughs> shitty mixes. <laughs> yes, the essence, the rawness of it. Parks. Well, who mixed D'Angelo's album? Uh, the same guy that makes all shit, Russ. D'Angelo. Russ. And uh, listen, I was gonna say D'Angelo. Joe Budden's gonna buddy. get real mad if unmixed joints is coming in style now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just tell you that one, buddy. Add that. Add that to the list of everything you did your whole career that's now in style. <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> talking about women. Depression. Depression. Put, putting your personal life out there. Or being suicidal. <laughs> Look, now y'all niggas want to kill y'all. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay <laughs> Juice <laughs> World. <laughs> uh, late to the party. <laughs> Oh, now Dress, y'all want dressing to like yeah. shit. Now that it's fashionable, <laughs> it's fashionable to, to kill yourself. Yeah, come on, nigga, do it last year. <laughs> yeah, do, do it when niggas ain't think he was gonna do it. Do it when niggas like, oh, you a weirdo still? Nah, yeah. everybody, everybody wanted to live then. I remember when this nigga in my, in my block said he was gonna kill himself. Man, nigga went to the roof. We saw that nigga peeking off. I told nigga, if you don't get off that roof, man, <laughs> he peeking at us. We look. By the way, <laughs> this is a perfect example of what I love, which is hood therapy. <laughs> Yeah. Yo, man, get off that fucking roof. This nigga on the sixth <laughs> Not gonna floor. ask why he's on the roof. Yeah, Not gonna try six, to console. On the Yo, floor. fam, if you don't get your stupid ass off that roof, yeah, you on the sixth floor peeking. <laughs> you just gonna hurt yourself. Yeah, you, you gonna peaking. live. Yeah, what you peeking for? <laughs> there was a period in my life where I was suicidal, but I felt I wasn't bright enough to do it correctly. <laughs> you, you are clumsy. To, you ain't know how to end it. Yeah, like where's that vein? That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> you know the one that they say. Where's the vein? Where's that one that you can't puncture? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, you didn't hear that one? No, uh, I never no, heard about that see, one. Look, you've been wanting to live. Yeah, <laughs> I've been, wa- I've been wanting to see every day. <laughs> I've been trying to live. Yeah, I've been trying to live, B. That's yeah, me. You're not yes. trending. We've been killing ourselves out here. Nah, I'm cool. <laughs> you're not trending. <laughs> I'm cool. Yo, uh, I do like no, rap no, Yeah, so this rap record, we got, like, we got beside ourselves. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to pretend to try to pronounce it. Uh, 
Every record on rap's album is named after a black woman. This black woman is a fencer, a famous fencer. I'm just uh, not going to butcher. The fencing in the video. Yeah, I'm not going to butcher the name oh, I thought that uh, was with my whiteness. A tribute to the mystery of chess boxing. I did too, kind of. That's what I thought. Yeah. Double entendre. Yeah. Mary's in the video. Yeah, she was. Uh, but I think it's a great record. I, I like the Liquid Sword sample. Um, Mary was anything brushing, Liquid brushing, Swords, I'm in. Yeah, brushing sure. her airwaves. <laughs> See, I seen Mary. That's right, Mary. Just verse was dope. Yeah, just a verse was great. Good. Another nigga I beef with. You did? He wrote a whole fucking diss about me. He did? Did he? Oh, I gotta hear that. I have to hear the jizz of Joe Budden. Jizz? He was definitely dropping some fucking chest knowledge on you and shit. You didn't even get the diss. It went way over your head. Word. I tore his ass up. It just never went out. <laughs> you can't say that, dude. I can't. Because the people have to say if you tore his ass up. Yeah, you, you can't, can't say it. Oh, no. It was, no, it was bad. It was bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to hear it though. I bombed, yeah, atomic. I bombed atomically I bombed atomically <laughs> <laughs> Ah Was that in the disc? Listen you can't go against No that was for that deck Bombed Yeah well, that's, a, that's a deck list too. I remember the deck oh, so disc me and Jizzle was cool Damn it's fucked up It was deck Oh okay It was deck That's worse <laughs> <laughs> Not chill that, That's much worse <laughs> No it oh, is no. but I don't think deck gets his props Is Jizzle better than deck? Yes Uh yeah But I don't mean that in a but Deck, Deck is nice. Deck is nice. I don't nice. know, man. After seeing that Deck documentary, nice. I kind of felt a little different. I used to, I used to feel that way, but after seeing the Wu, I didn't know that that was a straight yes. Well, I just, I guess because Deck never really had the solo success. I, yeah, I can't that. put Liquid yeah, Swords. Like, yeah, yeah. You can't have Liquid Swords in your possession albums. and then yeah. me try to say someone Although that Deck doesn't. Deck had a great verse, a couple great verses. Some of the most memorable Wu verses are Deck verses. A lot of them, for sure. Most of them, yeah, for sure, yeah. Well, anyway, well, we'll right. yeah. check out Rhapsody's You should be trying to battle them. <laughs> yes. They get it bombed atomically. Not at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's got mad philosophies for you. <laughs> Joe tried to go against the whole Wu-Tang. <laughs> Man, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I, went, I tried to go against any nigga that was nice for real, for real. That's why I'm really still feeling a way about y'all just saying Black Thought going to chew me up and spit oh, me he out. Is. He's going to chew me Yeah, but I feel the way that y'all <laughs> said it. <laughs> we ain't fake. We got it. We gonna say it. We ain't fake. It's like, yeah, nigga. It's like, if you get in a fight and the dude this. looks like real big and tough, you yeah. gotta be like, yo, homie, nah, don't, not who, today. Who's the yo, list of when people? he's in the corner shadow boxing with the belt around his yeah, waist, yeah. you probably shouldn't box with him. Yeah. Well, okay, time out. How much time do I have to prepare? How, 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 Doesn't matter. How, how much time you need? <laughs> two oh, no, two, oh, two no, careers. No. All right, slow down. No, no, I'm not rolling with that. I'm not rolling. You give Joe any amount of time in the world on Black Thought Theory. I'm not doing it. Because I think that Black Thought takes a lot of time. I don't well, know about that. Y'all could take the same amount that. of time. With his no schedule? Way. <laughs> no way. No how much way. time he need? How much time he need? Yeah. Uh, I need more. How much time? <laughs> uh, however much time you need, I, I still, yeah, Black Thought. I've only right, been in the studio see. with Black Thought once, and he wrote fairly quickly. But I don't know if those rounds Fam, were He has to go do Jimmy Fallon. Something. Like, he don't have time to write. Yeah, he ain't He'd be on stage freestyle with the roots every yeah. fucking night <laughs> of his life. Joe. How many rappers? He rap, he, how many, Flex called him the night before, and he rapped for 10 minutes. How Word. many rappers are on, are on that list, though? That, that can do that? That Is this it, an alien conversation? That, you can yeah, go so. to episode... <laughs> <laughs> episode 115. <laughs> what is it? Just Black Thought, Three Stacks... We M, had, we had Pharaoh on there. Oh, Omanch is there. Pharaoh's Fonte, Royce is an alien to me. Yeah. Did definitely. we say M? We said yeah. M. Yeah. That was the Crook, least. Crook would be an alien to me as well. Yeah. Tech is probably an alien too. Yeah. Damn, if I feel like we forget an alien, they're gonna fuck us up. We probably are. We're just gonna fuck me up. <laughs> Yo, you know who's really good at rapping? I'm just thinking about it right now. Daylight is really good at rapping. Yeah, Daylight's yeah. No, yeah, he no, really he's is. really good at rap. He and is. I don't know if you've heard like his his songs that he's been putting out, or just yeah. like that's what freestyles I'm or shit. Right. Like, they're, he's they're really good. he's really good. He's yeah. better. No, really Daylight good is rapping. nice. Like really good. Like I'm. He shouldn't even. I don't even think he should battle anymore. Hmm. Like that's I'm how good I think you. he is. Does he still battle? I think he has one coming up. Really? I think he has a big one. He just announced coming up. Nah, Day- Daylight makes <clears> good music. Yeah, but he can rap though. So is that rocket? Well, do you want to get to Tiana since it was on video? Oh yeah. Come on, hey, I'm, trying, I'm trying to keep us together, man. Yo, I like the new one, Improve Rory. I do, man. Go ahead. Give me your bad, King. Oh, you saw the video. I didn't see it. The Tiana <laughs> video? I just, you came in here and was like, yo, the Tiana video. And I was like, oh, I got to see it. Well, Tiana's been killing all the videos. I, I want to see, I wanna that, see that, any video with Tiana. Any Spike video T. that Tiana is directing, that Tiana Williams, goddammit. <laughs> Type Williams. She killing. Spike T. Uh, yeah. No, she's killing. So she did, uh, she did a video for her new single, 
I don't know the name of it because it, I've had it for a little while. Um, she played it for Amish me. Amish to hype. Is this the way? This isn't the one with Puff Son. Yeah, yeah, yeah this, this is, this is, is that one. one. Okay. Yeah. She played that for me uh, after the pull up that we did together. Uh, and Puff Son is on it. It's the uh, total remake, the Tell Me remake. And she Shout killed it. Shout out to Berg. She killed it. Shout out to Berg. Shout out to Tiana Taylor. But the video is really, really good. Shout out to Curtis Mayfield. The samples. Curtis Mayfield sample. Mm -hmm. How and You Want It is the name of it. Yeah. How Do You Want It. And in the video, it's just a, a 90s type yeah, of montage. Type. Big, shiny suits. Yeah. Puff Son. It's a nice video. Real good video. Yeah. Um, I was telling you guys earlier. I like all. I like. I was saying that I like the trend of just everything being '90s. But then you guys reminded me that that's been going on for quite some time now, like ten years. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah it has been. I mean, all the way down to fashion. I feel like '90s has been back for the past ten years. It's a little stronger now, I guess, than it has been. It's gonna be really <laughs> weird when the 2000s are hip. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but how? Let me know. Well, no, the baggy pants are coming back. That's true. Maybe we're getting big the 2000s. white tees. I feel like when well, no, I feel like at parties though, as much as the '90s set has always been popular, that early 2000s R&B hip hop set—that's the set—that's the one that's that the everyone one. loves the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's true. Yeah, because yeah, you're old enough to have been outside when it was a, a yeah, like that you era. guys. You guys were outside, outside. I was a teenager. Like it's still that you gap that we can all want to come outside. Yeah, yeah. A lot of those guys are still active too, guys and girls. Mm -hmm. A lot more active than some of the '90s people. See, that's just. The I would like to see streaming today, with, like, between the '90s and early 2000s, like hit records. Obviously, not albums. I would like to see the difference. Oh, it's a difference. I don't know. And streaming. The 90s, if if '90s artists could stream. <laughs> the niggas back in the day, they had a lot more presence than the people today. I, I'll say that. Yeah, all around. That's what I'm saying. The, the and I don't know if that's be, because people are. I thought trying you were saying which one streams more. Like, if you went and saw the stats of artists from the 2000s, how do they stream versus artists from the 90s? How do they stream? Yeah, that's I what I'm saying. Oh. You think 90s if, stream more? Yeah. Yeah, okay. If streaming were around in the early 2000s, I'm, I don't even want to know what Nelly and 50 would have done. Mm -hmm. And Ja. Those yeah. three, specifically. Yeah. Yep. Um... Yeah, so shout out to Tiana Taylor, shout out to Berg, shout out to, shout out to everybody involved. Real dope song, real dope song. Uh, I'll probably play it as my sleeper on cardiac again. On with, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah so was that cardiac or Berg? Yeah, was he was Berg on another record. Pulled, he pulled, oh, they did it. Okay. Yeah. Cardiac moved to LA and just got to the shit. Yeah, he got busy. <laughs> he had enough. Still getting busy. Shouts to cardiac. Yeah. Amani better call him niggas. <laughs> True. Um, all right, so 107 minutes in, ASAP Rocky, yes? <laughs> One of the bigger stories of the day. Probably the biggest story of the day, but, I mean, there's not much to say about it. Uh, he's out. Yeah, we knew yeah, he was he's out. Out. He's out pending the verdict, and I think that is August 16th, so he's got about two weeks. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he was trying to stay till the trial in Sweden. <laughs> Get me the fuck he, out of this country. Wait, he won't be home till the 16th? He's home now. No, he's home oh, now. That's all I say. He's got to go back. Oh, I'm not go going back. back. Okay. I'm not going back. Nah, y'all gotta yeah, come get sorry. me. Good luck. Come get me. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going back to Sweden. I don't need to go back to Sweden. FaceTime me. <laughs> <laughs> From the courtroom. Yeah. Dead ass. <laughs> I'm not coming back over there. Yeah, I'll go to my computer. Yeah. Uh, what do you think will end up happening? Fine. Probably have to do some sort uh, of... Uh, the prosecutor was going for years, though. And then that changed to months. He's not going to do And then they let him out. I don't, I don't think And then they let him out. So that says to me, all right, prosecutor, whatever you was trying to do, yeah, this, is, nah. this is beyond you now. <laughs> well, I also think if you put, if you saw his IG message, he said thank you to the courts. Like, he was being humble about it, which makes me think they already had a conversation. Yeah, he's not going to He's probably going to do some charitable type of he's, situation. Money. Maybe. Yeah. Money. Yeah. That's all it is. A show. Yeah. Money. They'll, they'll do something. Yeah. I wonder if they he's have, not like, going to see no jail time. I wonder if they have like a civil... Thing how we and have he here. fucking shouldn't see any like where the kids because I, I saw I didn't read much because we we're shooting today but mm. I saw the kids were saying they haven't slept in weeks and they're scared for their life and all types of crazy shit so I wouldn't be but surprised they did. They I didn't know to... that kid got poked up though oh he did uh, he got they stabbed him with something oh I didn't know like he had well, stop he had... following people then. no I uh, but but listen <laughs> I didn't know I didn't know <laughs> no but stabbing stop somebody is people different. after after you've been asked several times yeah. to get away. <laughs> Because I'm pictures I saw he had a lot of like those was punctures like so you was following niggas you couldn't beat yeah but I, but just beating somebody up cause I thought it was just hands at first yeah me too but now if somebody getting this. stabbed up that's different that is, there there's a difference you could jump somebody or beat somebody up knock somebody out but when you start stabbing somebody that's a difference 
I agree. You do. You you will be locked up for that. I so that I understand. Did he deserve to be you no know, in that situation that long? I don't he think so. He put himself in that situation. But not if, Rocky, listen. If the that's kid, the room the that he was locked up in that we saw pictures of. Rocky got to relax, man. <laughs> that was a that nice room looked better than the room I grew up in, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. That was a I'm like, wait, room. this is jail in Sweden? He had a desk. A, a what swim, is that? A, a he had a Wi-Fi in there? Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? A desk. He had a chair. Oh, that shit, that can't around. be true. I think he had books. I think, I think it was a window that he man. could open and close. You know, me hours, you know how many hours I could kill with a chair that spins? Fam, it looked like he was in a... <laughs> I'll do my, mad hey, fun. I'll do my whole 15 years. Give me the chair that spins. It looked like a dorm room. Like, that's how it looked. I was like, wait, this is jail? <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, just go to St. Peter's. Uh, how'd you guys feel about Trump's bars? <laughs> you want us to rate the bars? <laughs> yeah, let's do a deep dive. <laughs> the fact Joe, don't be mad. The, you, you that's was upset the official that you ain't, account you ain't get of the president, bar. man. It's disgusting. Fam. You know what? I do love that he's taking the credit or alluding that he's taking the credit for getting ASAP out. He is taking the credit for it. The, he even tweeted that the Prime Minister, whatever, I'm going to be ignorant. I don't know. The, whatever the president is of Sweden mm. was like, nah, fam. <laughs> Sorry. You get worried. Yeah. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. I don't, I don't know what they got over the there. The dude said, yo. Yeah, it gets weird when you start crossing the, yeah. the yeah. Atlantic. Could be, could be a, king, a king, could be a prince, yeah, could a, be a president, I don't the, know. The could be a queen. Yeah. Could be a queen. I'm, I'm not misogynistic. That's true. Prime Minister. Prime See, minister. I was right the first time. There you go. Yeah, said, prince. fam, no, he's going through all the court <laughs> shit. Yeah, Sorry. Like, yeah, no. Nah, he's he's going he's going to trial. <laughs> Stupid ass Eddie Murphy. <laughs> what? <laughs> and McDowell the whole time and he a prince. <laughs> Yo, look where your brain is at. <laughs> and what was Shorty name? Lisa you McDowell. See run out of McDowell's. Yeah. When she ran away in the rain. Baby, look at the fuck over here. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is stupid. Like how you break. No down? one of these keeps falling. <laughs> <laughs> Oh hey, hey, try to re- hey when they do coming to America to redo, I want to I want to write that scene. I want to write her running away in the rain with the millionaire nigga with his face on some money. Yeah, I want to rewrite that. He wouldn't have been chasing her, nah. not for very long. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Joe Joe brain was on Lisa McDowell. Word. That's crazy. <laughs> no, nah, because y'all start talking about princes. I was like, I should know he was a prince. Because he was wearing. <laughs> what you mean? So he lived it. The nigga couldn't mop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you gotta mop the floor back to back, you can't mop. Yeah. Put the bucket away. He right. ended up getting pretty good at mopping. <laughs> yeah, he was good. <laughs> Kicked the nigga ass with the mop stick. Yeah. All right, we can stay here. <laughs> in, in injustice, <laughs> the free meek doc came out, oh, or it's it coming out uh. via Amazon. I don't know how you get that one. I don't own Amazon, so I don't know how that works. Amazon Prime, right? Is that yeah. the name of it? Yeah. I don't fuck I just that. started watching uh they have, they got some good shows now. I just started watching uh something called the the boys on there. Pause if I have to, but pretty good. <laughs> nah, it was Pornhub. I don't trust Amazon. Why? I don't know. No, nah, I've been ordering everything from there now. Yeah. I got listen, I got some thirteen foot umbrella coming tomorrow. <laughs> I dog, I got my groceries from there now. For real? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, I don't trust Amazon Lola. Fresh. They I creep, gave in. They creep me. It's up. fine. I, I did clear, and after that, I was like, all right, "Take me. <laughs> <laughs> you have all of me, guys." Yeah, I tried to give me to do. Take cl- my groceries. Yeah, I tried to give me to do clear, so I, I got folded. I was like, "You know what? I right. went over there. She, scanner wasn't working. I was like, "Well, same thing happened to me." I was like, "Well, same thing happened to me." It wasn't meant, meant to be. be. It wasn't meant to be. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be. The government didn't want me. I'm about to see what's good with that global entry shit now, though. Oh, you got different. money. Wait, what? I still think it's. I don't know. I just don't think it's eighty five. Sound like that much money. <laughs> <laughs> so, someone like, hit me with that with pre-check. I was like, "Fan, she's like seventy dollars for five years." Ooh, <laughs> I'm pre-check now. Hey, right. I'm about to walk through with my shoes on. <laughs> and your laptop. Don't even take that out. I don't even take it with me. I remember oh. I got through the regular well, line faster than somebody that was on the TSA. I think pre-check? that was me and Joe in Philly, <laughs> and, and you and you laughed at, at <laughs> us too. But no one was in the airport, so it was just you walking faster than us. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it goes. That's why I was just laughing. Like, that shit really doesn't make a difference. Oh, sometimes it's, yes, it, does. it does. At certain airports. Sometimes. At, at certain right. airports. At certain airports. But it really doesn't, though. Thanks, Mo. <laughs> it doesn't. Okay. I said thanks. <laughs> the cop that murdered Eric Gardner. What uh, concert is even happening tonight oh is God. the funny question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What? Do we have like, sleepers, man? Like, why are you just going to come on? Like, oh, that me? <laughs> like, who, who, who in your town tonight, huh? Trey, what's going on? 
She said it's my concert. Yeah. Like, I'm just supposed to know. Like, it's the whole shit or something. <laughs> Joe went to LiveNation.com. Was like, who, right, who's, in, who's in town? Man. Yo, what concert is she going to tonight? That's the question. That's funny. Don't tell me you're going to a concert. Oh, ask. Now, what? Mm. Like, yo, who? <laughs> <laughs> but how you Joe, ask hmm. that, like, cool? Like, put a word? word? Who? Who's here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, just oh, you know, a word. A <laughs> word. A word. Yeah, what's a word? Yeah, word. Yeah, I mean, dope, 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 love like, live yeah. music. No. <laughs> I love live music. Just just recently saw yeah. Blank. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just caught them when they was here last. I <laughs> caught them. Mary J. Oh, oh. that's safe. Well, yeah. Mary she's does. going she's going down. Nigga, I just put Mary's in the Tiana video. I, she got a show somewhere. <laughs> Mary all over the place, man. Go Mary. I just ain't her brushing her waves. Ah, uh, wait, no, hold on. Isn't isn't Mary on tour with Nas? Yeah. Kind of just left out the uh, the other headliner there, <laughs> who's very attractive. Mm. The sniper in the room. <laughs> she ain't tell me it was Mary and Nas. Mm. No, she just said Mary. Mary J. <laughs> she tried to throw the J she out just said there Mary. to throw me <laughs> off. <laughs> she ain't want to put Mary in Nas show. Oh wait. <laughs> Isn't that the tour uh, with Nas? That's that. That's that Nas show, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I ain't even sending that. I'm just leaving that okay. Because <laughs> the okay will let you know it's some salt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> why is okay salty? I don't know why. It's salty. It is okay. Though. It's it salty. Is salty. Yeah. Not Especially salty. if you spell it out. From a. Now, I do. Wait. Okay. A Y. Yeah. I've never done that. <laughs> Oh. No, it's, it's it's salty when you put the period after. Yeah, that period makes yeah. all the difference in the world. Like somebody lol me and put a period. I was like, all right, w- what's wrong? <laughs> what's wrong? That's all you had to say. Yeah, like talk about it. What, what happened? Now? That's not a sentence. Yeah, if you punctuate text messages, lol period. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. What happened? What I do? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, get mad. I, I came back. K. <laughs> <laughs> they think they could just K. Yeah, glad, don't, glad don't we have an me. understanding. Don't care. Um, all right, well, where we at, man? The Mary J concert. Yeah. Uh, they in town. That's the ticket tonight, huh? Mm, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, no, that's the sugar daddy ticket. That's where he want to go. He got an early one. <laughs> they going to the pre show. Shut the fuck I'm up. I'm not saying. I'm right waiting for Rory. Rory, come Shut on. The fuck Segway. Up, nah, I was just trying to get you out your feelings. That Shut is. up, man. Joe is. <laughs> Doing all the calculate, but so, uh, you think she got meet and greet? I was like, getting a meet and greet for a Mary show is sick. <laughs> what what you and what what are Mary gonna Nas talk about? I don't think Nas is meeting people. Nas do the after after the show meet and greet. Yo, me. yo, like the hotel lobby. <laughs> Mom, all right. <laughs> Yo, we got to the Sheridan. The sky was so blue. I'd never seen a sky so blue. Yeah, fuck Nas on. Why Nas telling my girl what would happen if he ruled the world? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? He upstage if I'm ruling the world and everything in it. Sky's yeah, the limit. Yeah. I push the Q4. Think he's giving her the infinite. message? I mean, what my bitch like infinites? <laughs> <laughs> infinites. I want a Q4 or 5. Still. Like the big lux- uh, luxury one, the old old drug dealer one. Why those don't come back? Like the fucking uh, drug dealer BMWs, everybody's trying to bring back. I like those drug dealer BMWs. Me too. Me but too. Let bring, if we're gonna do that, bring all the drug dealer cars back. The, the GS3, sell, 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 sell some fucking drugs. GS, the uh, the MPV. They still available. What an MPV? Yeah. You can find I order one of them from Amazon right now. From Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Show up tomorrow. If Amazon <laughs> Yo, said an MPV. Ov- overnighting. <laughs> the MPV? Yeah, oh, man. Mo, what you pulling up to the pool party in? Uber. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Come on, Mo. Uber. We don't believe you. Okay. You, you got more, my parking spot more, down, down the actual driveway so I could, like, pull up. <laughs> oh, Mo caught the Lambo truck. <laughs> Joe, shut the fuck up! Man. Shut the fuck up, man! Oh, oh Mark, like, like, like nobody knows. Look, y'all ain't know. Just cat, cat That's cop. exactly what you're gonna do. Hell when when no. Mark cops something, he ain't gonna yo, tell nobody. No, you know when he asked for the Uber? Never. Yo, Joe, are you Joe going to St. Nick? Nah. No. Fam, we just gonna walk outside. Nah, nah. Joe, you think nah, I would? We gonna hear the beep? Truck? We gonna the hear the beep? Out of here. Never. That's the corniest shit in the world to me. Oh, so maybe I shouldn't go. 
<laughs> but you, when you were talking about the shit you were talking about, I was like, don't do that. But you called every car that I named corny. Cause La- it's the, Lambo it's, truck, Range Rover, no, no, uh, Maybach. You didn't say I did, Range Rover. I did. Wait, That's my is, favorite oh, car. No, I would never said, say no, no, that. He, I said, he, he why is the Lambo truck corny? It's just corny, it's, bro. Lamborghini shouldn't make trucks. Yeah, it's just But it's like shit, a car. It's, it's not like a truck. But it's corny, though, man. It's like, cut it out, man. Stop. But why is that corny? <laughs> Lambo truck is corny, like Lambo man. Truck. It's like it's like the stereotypical rapper package. I haven't seen one of them up here. Yeah, but st- you know why? Because it's corny. <laughs> That's why. I've seen a lot of corny shit out here, though. A Lambo truck is corny. I don't I, give a fuck I agree with, with you. Yeah. You can do the, the Maybach. Yeah. That's still corny. You think the, you think the Porsche was truck was corny? Yeah, I think it's corny too. The Porsche truck was corny when it came out? Yeah. I think all of those. I didn't like the Porsche. All of those truck. sports cars. I like the, the Lambo car truck. Yeah, there. sports car trucks are weird. They're corny. It's it's corny because it's just a moment. Yeah. The Mercedes it's has just a great like, truck. Uh, Lambo truck. Uh, it's one? like right now if you pull up in the fucking in a Hummer. BMW has a great truck. Let me get that shit. BMW out. makes good trucks. Yeah. Luxury the G wagon is nice, but it's not a good. That's a kind of a corny vehicle Yo, listen, too. It's a great looking car. If you gonna get an SUV, Range Rover, Escalade, shit like that, Suburban, keep it right there. Lambo truck. Or get a Sprinter. Like, <laughs> you ain't gonna or do no Lambo fucking truck. Lambo Ooh, truck. Lambo Sprinter. Lambo truck. <laughs> the Lambo you go truck. 250 miles yeah, an like, hour in a truck. Yeah, come on, come on. Man. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I wanna bring all my friends. <laughs> and, some, and some luggage. I don't know if all that could fit in a Lambo truck. Yeah. <laughs> some friends and luggage. I don't think so it's I'm a saying, trunk. You can't even, like, you can yeah. have a Lambo truck. The trunk is even a trunk in a Lambo. The Lambo truck is the engine in the back, too, in the truck? Lambo SUV car. It's corny. All right, listen, enough of that, man. ASAP Rocky. Now, R. Kelly vanished oh. from his, uh, his lawyer. Oh, maybe he could fly. <laughs> good shot, Joe. You've been, you've been writing that one for a while, huh? I haven't. <laughs> I'm witty. <laughs> I'm witty. <laughs> this nigga's crazy. <laughs> Joe's going to give himself some flowers, man. Y'all won't. <laughs> I've been it was a good top, shot. I've been the top of the key for the whole I game. Said, I said good <laughs> shot. I said it was a good shot. No one's dapped you after your shots? At all. At all. It's fine. <laughs> During the timeout? No Art, one's like, yo, Art, you playing great. They're going to put R. Kelly underneath the jail. I don't care who, what lawyer he leave. Man, he don't yeah, need a lawyer. For yeah, he sorry. Going. Sorry, buddy. So His lawyer said they flew from Chicago to New York. I couldn't get a hold of him. Like, you think Kells is on the <laughs> Wi-Fi? <laughs> like, what you think is going on? Did you check the girl's bathroom? Oh, my God. Jesus, Joe. Just when you made a shot. Oh. Just made a shot. Well, it out. <laughs> <laughs> you just made a shot. Was that at a point? I don't think. I'm no, it's it. not at a point. Yeah. Oh, just a miss. I'll take a miss. Yeah. One for two. Yeah, that's cool. Fifty percent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, there you go. Okay, that's a hard Kelly breakdown, <laughs> huh? Uh, AJ from One Hundred Six in Park is. Uh, oh, this is the whole creepy segment. Yeah, I'm trying to. Creepy I'm trying vibes. to sequence the album. Oh, okay. Get it. Go ahead. <laughs> you called home. <laughs> I, he helped me out. He helped me out with That's the dope. podcast list today. That's dope. That was the one favor I could pull. Uh, AJ from 106 Apart got fired for sexual misconduct. They're looking into it. I thought that happened no, a while they, ago. They looked into it. That's why, that's why he oh, got it's fired. That's happened again? <laughs> yeah, they, no, no, no. They, they investigated. They had to do their due diligence. Oh, okay. They, they did it. <laughs> and decided to move on? Yes. Okay. Well, well, I mean, you guys were industry before me. So was AJ... Somebody Lohan's did this. <laughs> I don't know if AJ was. I've never been around him. He was never know. known to be handsy. I don't know. I never, never hung out with him. That might be a joke question. <laughs> well, get out of your park. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> get out of town. Out of here. <laughs> I don't know if AJ was handsy. Yeah, I never hung out with him. I don't know. AJ was always a cool dude. I mean, I don't know about any other shit. Uh, it's unfortunate if if this stuff is true, but I mean, I wouldn't be able to tell that from the top ten countdown on BT. <laughs> If he was handsy, yeah, I figured he might have appeared on the show, maybe. To be parks, yeah, maybe, maybe y'all, maybe today. y'all hit the scene <laughs> no, together. I said no, no, we didn't hit the scene. Okay, so they well, said no, it we was did just, hit the scene a few times. It was. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's what I thought. They just calling it sexual misconduct. I think. Or is it like that? Sounds nasty. No, that's nasty. Yeah, that's when you do some shit at the workplace that you're not supposed to do. Yeah, he was catching a jig. That's work. the definition of is misconduct. It, is it still called that if the woman does it? I'm sure. Yeah, that's Terry okay. Crews. Hmm? Why? Because <laughs> he got because he's he was part of the Me Too as a victim. But yeah, a man did because yeah, a him. dude jerked him off. Oh, I thought a chick. I thought a chick was after him. No, that was his nah, dude. dude groped him. <laughs> My fault. I should have yeah. laughed at that. No, nah, dude groped. I never looked into that story. Why are you laughing? Well, I, that was uh, that was the same one. <laughs> 
why are you laughing? Because you, you just told me a dude tried to jerk him off. Yeah, dude I'm grabbed sorry. him up. I'm sorry I naturally laughed. Yeah, dude grabbed him up. Dude tried to see what he was hitting for. Dude tried to see what he was hitting for. Dude tried to pat his shit around. Dude knew what it was hitting for. That's why the fuck he grabbed it. Save on. We're not supposed to say that, right? Oh no, all of this shit. <laughs> oh, cl- oh, Red flag it. <laughs> Clip it off. Rewind. <laughs> Everything. Uh, we are back from our brief commercial break. <laughs> and ASAP Rocky was recently released pending his <laughs> What you got for me? Uh Jay Prince is either gonna kill the drug dealers or the cops. I think I'm scared. Both parties should be scared. Yeah. I'm scared that you even said his name. Yeah, I I'm, cool. I'm on his that. side. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm on his <laughs> side. As long as that's clear. Uh, did you guys play number <laughs> number said, neighbor? Look, look at our deep dive. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What are we talking about? It? Oh, about the Jay Prince thing. Yeah. Somebody Some in Houston is uh, <clears throat> printing. I I don't know what drug it was. It was just a pill uh, with his Rap a Lot logo on it, Ooh. and he it came across. His his no, path. He, he had every right to be um, concerned yeah, about that. Yeah, of course. Though. And he was suggesting, hey, who's ever doing this, stop it if you're selling the drugs. Or this is the cops trying to set me up. Yeah. Either way, he has a... He's he's what? right for feeling some type of way about that. Yes. Percent. That's dangerous. That's very dangerous. For sure. That's all types of charges, <laughs> indictments coming. Like, no. word. All it takes is one body to drop logo. as a result of that drug. <laughs> yep. And he was very clear in his message. If I catch you selling it, Making it mm-hmm. or using it, yeah. Well, that corners the market. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's all of you. Yeah, yeah. anybody. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Stop it. <clears throat> yeah, you that's should stop. Sack. That's true. All right. Uh, I trust you guys played the number neighbor game that was on Twitter today, huh? Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What what number going? neighbor? What was that? Going? It's all the rave on the timeline now, Mo. You take your phone number and then you change the last digit to the number above or below and then you text this person out of nowhere and have a full-blown conversation. This why, is clearly the that? safest thing you can do with your time on a on what? a Saturday. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Oh, that's the I'm government. Not doing that either. Government trying to get more data. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably Amazon. Is that what they do? Oh, these niggas are fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> these niggas need better shit to do with their fucking time. Yo, you remember the party line? Y'all ever used to go to the party line? <laughs> the party line used to be lit. Like, that was fun. I called the party line. The don- was it the donut? In New York? I never, the donut or some shit? I never like called the, the donut party line. You never called the party line? I called the party line, but I don't remember the donut. The party line used to be the shit. It's like Mom's the chat room. The yeah. original chat room. My mom used to kick my ass and just get that phone bill. Oh, yeah. I thought I lost all the topics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought this was off the dome. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm off the top. <laughs> clearly staring at my phone. <laughs> That's it, man. If you want to talk about Stephen A and get to some sports. No, I want to talk about Botham Gene. Ah, rest in peace. That's who I would like to talk rest about. Rest in peace, Botham. Botham Gene is the young man from Dallas. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Dallas Dallas area. Young man. Yeah. Yeah, let me just pull this up because I don't want to fuck this up here. Uh, so I'm going to read this article. And when we went to do our show in Dallas, uh, there was a bunch of people that... that let us know that uh, the gentleman was a huge fan of the podcast. And that, that news disturbed me, but I was so glad that they informed me of it. Um, and when that story broke, it was disturbing to me. Um, y'all know I'm well documented on this podcast by saying my paranoia uh, says to me that at any given time, somebody will just rush in my house and fucking it can be over. Uh, and unfortunately, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Uh, pardon me. Unfortunately, that's exactly what happened to the, uh, uh, this gentleman. So I'm going to read this. And this article, this is from NewsOne.com. And this is basically about the media attempting to turn the murderer into a victim. Uh, this, says, this says, as the murder trial approaches for the former Dallas police officer who shot and killed an unarmed and very innocent black man in his own home last year, one thing has become resoundingly clear. Local media has amazingly managed to portray the killer as the victim. News outlets around Dallas have been steadily asking whether defendant Amber Geiger, a white woman, can get a fair trial for what has been described as the execution of Botham Shim 
Gene, who was just 26 years old. But the answer to that question has centered on another query. How do you define fair? In recent years and throughout American history, really white police officers are uh, really uh, white police officers accused of murdering black people have routinely been acquitted. Many argue that those verdicts were not fair. All right. We know that part. We're black in America. We get the history. Uh, let's fast forward. <clears throat> Defense attorneys uh, filed a motion earlier this month to move the trial out of Dallas. Translation into communities with whiter populations mm -hmm. after successfully rescheduling the trial date to accommodate their own schedule. But the trial. Uh, but the type of pretrial legal jockeying is par for the course in cases with such high stakes. Uh, what should not be expected, however, is local media offering coverage that appears sympathetic to a white woman killer when chances are they wouldn't afford the same privileges to black suspects accused of the same heinous crime. Uh, and I'll just read this one example that it, it, it's, it, the article states multiple examples, but they're all similar. So I'll read the first. It says, take, for instance, Exhibit A. On May 8th, the Dallas News published an article with the headline, Can Amber Geiger Get a Fair Trial in Dallas for the Shooting of Botham Jean? That question, which was arguably much more than rhetorical, was printed over a photo of Geiger walking into court post-makeover, complete with designer suit for her blonde tresses to flow onto. It was a far cry from her mugshot in an orange jail jumpsuit. Imagery which would subliminally hammer home the criminality and not the false sense of innocence for an egregious shooting death that Geiger confessed to during a 911 call in which she showed more concern for her career than the innocent black man who lay there dying. Mm. That's all I'll read from this. Um, Botham Jean was murdered, so he's not here. He has no voice. Uh, was murdered. That's key. He was murdered. Oh yeah, no, we're saying yeah. that shit. Yeah. Not only was he murdered, but the young lady admitted to it. Uh, there was a whole lot of conflicting shit in her story. Uh, she said the door was ajar. Uh, multiple people that live in the complex say those doors slam shut. If you're familiar with complexes, period, the doors normally <laughs> slam shut. Them. They don't just stay ajar. No, they slam no. shut. Uh, there was another uh, rumor going around that there was some. Uh, romantic history between them two i can't confirm that so i won't speak to it but it was just something that was floating around interesting shit if you're keeping up with all this bottom line that man was murdered in his own home mm. and the alibi or the line or the excuse of i thought that was my apartment is just nah no nah. not rolling with that uh i hope they do not get this case moved into a predominantly white neighborhood with a predominantly white jury I hope they keep Amber Geiger ass right there and give her ass exactly what she deserves. Unlike what they've done for the uh, gentleman who murdered Eric Gardner right in front of our faces. Yeah. Uh, took a few years, but hey, they suspended him. Yeah, Bill de wow. Blasio, Bill de Blasio is running for president. They were protesting at the, the Democratic uh, debate. And so now he wants to do something about it. Well, they, they asked him at the debate. Yeah, I know. And he, he didn't <laughs> answer. Yeah. He did not answer. I, I want to point. Did. I want to point that out. Yeah, he did the dance. He danced. It seemed like his whole objective was just to attack Biden. And I know we we just jumped from murder to the it Democratic debate, it, no, but it, it ties certainly in. ties it's in. It ties in. Absolutely. Yeah. The but did you, I mean, politicians, it ties in. Yeah. And they had it on the news that he's getting suspended, and the judge wants him to get terminated. Like that's a victory. He should be arrested, not Absolutely. terminated from his job. Absolutely. He murdered someone on camera. And just because he wants to run for president, now he wants to do something about it. That's sick. Um, you know, just maybe the first step, pardon me, I have indigestion. Mm, maybe the first step in them doing something to homeboy who murdered uh, Mr. Garner is for them to get him away for the police force so he can no longer be protected by that code of blue. Um, and then they foul charge it. I don't know. Yeah, that could be it. All of it is disturbing. Uh, justice for Eric Garner. Justice for uh, Botham Jean. Justice for any black man murdered in America while minding his business. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if it was. A, I don't think it was a police commissioner because I, I remember what that dude looks like. But somebody from the city was was on the news today and had the point of all the officers that are out there today, if, when you call 911, do you want them to check with their 
superior officer or save your life. Fan, he was selling cigarettes. Word. Don't mm. tell me when I call 911 tonight when I'm being attacked that mm. I want them to check if it's okay no. to to subdue the guy. Fam, he was selling, he shut even, the fuck he up. He wasn't even selling cigarettes. He was breaking up a fight. Yeah. Hmm. He was breaking up a fight and then they got him because they're familiar with, with him, him yeah. for yeah. selling, selling cigarettes. cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you could be police in your own neighborhood like trying to keep the streets safe and get murdered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just to be clear. Um, rest in peace to Eric Garner. Rest in peace to both them, Gene. I need uh, some, I need some uh, from the top. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, some, yeah. 100. Yeah, let's do that. I want a whole nother way with that. Yeah, man. Because listen, it's real, but it's just like what, when you think what about it. What other fucking media outlet is going to cover it? Like, like we kind of know what the media's job is. So if y'all going to put the lady in makeup and a nice dress, and not the way that you put every African American when they commit a fucking crime, <clears throat> like, come on, man, come on, come on, come on. Okay, six minutes. I saw some clip of Charlie Wilson doing the dab. <laughs> That's all I got. I feel like we ain't played this in a while. That's a good thing. We've been doing all right, like a bunch of happy shit. Oh, this is coming on at the pool party. God, Speak, of course. Speaking of uh, speaking of the pool party, listen. Actually, don't Stop listen yet, DMing man. DMing me. Let Charlie rock, man. Mm, look, that was his way of saying your body's hot. <laughs> Girl, you looking sweeter now. <laughs> you lucky we ain't get into that. I am. I agree with you. <laughs> I gotta play that record some more. His single. See, this summer up. Me and Parks was jamming. You wasn't here. Hard. Well, you could play yeah. it as a sleeper because I'm I'm playing me as a sleeper too. <laughs> Are we gonna do a Joe Budden sleeper day? Uh, Slow down song. Oh, nice. <laughs> no, I'm not playing Joe Budden body hot as my sleeper. <laughs> that should continue to sleep. <laughs> uh, what else is going on in the universe? I guess we get into sports. You guys watch the Stephen A. and uh, Carmelo interview? I didn't. I saw yeah. clips. I didn't see that in yeah, its entirety. I saw some clips. What uh, what came of it? It was his. It was his pull up. He was. It looked like he was keeping it a bean. Yeah. It looked like he kept it a bean about a lot of shit. And Carmelo don't. Carmelo. I felt him when he said, "I don't. I don't do this." He's right. He yeah, don't, no, he's, he's one. He don't do that. Percent correct. Th he that don't was do that. not. That, that's why I watched it because Carmelo doesn't do that. So for him to do that and address. Everything that was going on, like I, I, I think it was good. I think he got his points across. Um, the bottom line is Carmelo Anthony should be on the NBA roster. That he, he's talented enough. There's a lot of dudes in the NBA that even at his age now they're still not better than him. Um, and I understand the league is it gets younger and things like that. But I mean his role just would have to change. And I, yeah, at first I don't think Carmelo was open to changing his role. Say that. Just, just being the vet, right? That but comes I think off the bench. I think now he's embraced that, and he realized that he's not the go-to guy anymore. Um, but he definitely deserves to be on the NBA roster. He's in shape. He can. He's one of the best scorers of all time. Um, and I think that a lot of these young guys now, because it is a scoring league, I think they can learn a lot from him. Yeah. And um, he de he deserves to be on the NBA roster. I would I would love to see him on the NBA roster. I don't, don't worry. Don't force he, he him into the retirement. To your team. You'll see him. You'll see him soon. I mean, I, yeah, but they just don't. I don't. I don't want this to, because the, the thing is, I don't want this to become a thing where they force these legendary players out and force them into retirement. Like back in the nineties, players were on rosters that weren't, wasn't playing, but because of who they were, yeah. the NBA kept them around, kept them in the locker room. And I think that that still needs to be a thing because the league is getting younger. Moses Malone and Robert Parrish played for like 25 years. So this is what I'm saying. The league is getting younger. A lot of these young dudes, they need veteran presence in the locker room. Yeah. And Carmelo's not a guy that got into a lot of trouble yeah. off the court. And, you know, he 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 wasn't he was never that type of a player. So he deserves to be on the NBA roster. And I, I think he will. I think he will be by the uh, start of the season. I think he'll be on the roster. He'll be on the Lakers. I'll, I'll take him. I'll take him. See, of course you would if you're gonna play a six man room. Yeah, you got. I mean, you're not gonna name five people that 
and I think that can score better than Carmelo. Like I'm just talking about from post shoot it. Like he's one of the purest scorers that I've ever seen. Do you think that um, I'll ask this in closing? Do you think that Carmelo? They were asking this on ESPN last week. I wasn't sure the answer. Do you think he deserves a farewell tour? Does yeah. he deserve a Hell farewell yeah. tour? Carmelo I don't think he deserves a farewell tour. You have to Why? win it. Me neither. You have to win it. You got to win. You got to win it. If you don't win it all, in a conference final. Once. Yeah, you can't. You can't get a farewell tour if you didn't win it all. Does, and I don't, does and, Allen the, Iverson deserve a farewell tour? He didn't get one. He didn't get one. I know. What I'm saying, did he deserve a farewell tour? I don't think he did. No. All right. I don't think he deserved a fail. I I don't. I think that so anyone that wins a championship deserves one. But if you don't win a championship, you, you don't deserve one. Not everyone that wins a championship deserves a farewell tour. Just because I'm you trying win, to figure out what you mean. You have to be an elite player and have won a ring. Yeah. I disagree. Like Tim Duncan, elite and well, one. All right. Dirk. <laughs> Dirk, elite D-Wade, and one. D Wade, Kobe. elite and one. Like these are the guys that deserved it. AI was a cultural a cultural icon. Like the players give it up for him. Yeah. But. You talking about every arena? Farewell tour is when every listen, arena stands y'all, up. Yeah. Y'all fan base yeah. is giving it up. And yeah, I know. I know what you talk about no, by farewell farewell tour. Yeah, AI. I don't, I don't AI I, don't deserve a farewell tour. With, I don't think he deserves. He, no, he's he's a legend. With he no, might no, got, one of the best I, I players. Think every Carl arena went crazy. A farewell tour. Excuse me, Carl Malone, Charles Barkley. Well, you know how he no. feels Barkley about never won. I know. They never you don't won. Think Charles deserved a farewell tour. No, he didn't no. win. He didn't win, and the way Tough and crowd. and the way he yeah. went out was kind of like you know whack. Yeah, Carl went out kind of corny. Shit, even Shaq went out corny, and I love Shaq, but he the yeah. way he went out, he bounced around too much. And I said it, I was like, Shaq don't need to be wearing all these jerseys. Yeah, like he put on a Cavs jersey, Suns jersey. Yeah, like it was like, come on, Shaq. You know Celtics what I'm saying? Jersey, uh, Celtics. Yeah. Gary Payton got one with the Lakers, right? No, they lost no, that. They year. lost no. that one. So yeah. Gary, he Payton got one with Miami. Oh, that's right. That's he right. Did? That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I, Miami too. He didn't really I play. That. Doesn't matter. He was on team. Yeah. <laughs> so he deserves a farewell tour because he was on the bench for a no, nah, a see, ring. <laughs> he said an elite player and a ring. Gary yeah. Payton was an elite player. He was elite. Absolutely. He was elite. And he got a ring. Absolutely. So Gary Payton gets one according. Yeah, to Yeah, but it's the way he went Gary out. Gary Payton was an elite defender and an, an elite point guard during his time. I'm Only point gonna, guard ever won defensive I'm, player of the year. I'm not going to say that he, we talking about Gary Payton with LeBron and Kobe. I'm not yeah, doing no. that. I'm not doing no, that. It's a, it's a difference. Elite. Everybody well, elite first is, of all, elite is now elite. you guys are changing your shit. If no, no, no. LeBron I just, and Kobe. No, no, no. I, just, I don't want to put anyone with them I besides make, Jordan. I right. just want to make my stance clear that elite to me is elite. Yeah. It's like classic Everybody's album. Everybody's not elite. Classic yeah. album. Everybody's elite. not elite. There's stars. Gary there's Payton superstars. is amazing. He's yeah. not elite. He's not elite. I wouldn't say he's elite. In the overall yeah, conversation, I, I can see elite. your point. But when he was playing, Gary Payton was an elite point guard. Correct. For his time. Okay. And then we lived longer and started seeing some shit. <laughs> we yeah, started seeing like Steph every... shoot from half court. We I mean, yeah, but you can say it about all dude. the really old players that were elite. I right say it. Hey, listen, every time my dad bring up Bob Cousy, nigga, shut up. <laughs> Stop talking to me about Bob Cousy and them niggas. <laughs> and, and Dan, what's this other guy he like to bring up? Dan fucking, some bum ass nigga. <laughs> Stop talking to me about these niggas. Who's man. a legend? <laughs> yeah, no, because he's on the top 50 greatest players ever, but they need to redo that list anyway. Oh, yeah. That list is so outdated. Yeah, it's mad niggas on that that list that I don't fuck with. There's a few niggas on that list. They shouldn't be there. Yeah, but, but, but we do it. We do it in rap too with way older rappers. They're there because of the legacy. They're not there because of their rapping ability. I don't think so. Anybody that I put there is there. I'm, talk, they I'm should not be talking there. about you. I'm oh. talking about just like the overall. If mm-hmm. you were to do your stereotypical top twenty, like you throwing in some legacy acts in there because of what they did for hip hop, not because they can rap. You do the give, same thing with, with uh, sports. Give me an artist that you think. Uh, falls in that like is of the legendary stature that niggas just throw in there because they're a legend that doesn't rap as well that, as that shit yeah yeah I guess that's what I'm saying oh, so you just want me to diss a legend <laughs> don't, don't set no. me up he's trying to make you him yeah no, no. yeah, yeah. No, I see what's going, well, no I see what's going on here Rory move to the side it's Joe I stand on a ledge uh, let me answer my own question Biz Marquee is a legend sure I don't think anybody puts Biz Marquee in not. yeah so I, that's all I'm saying. I think the people that they put but I, there, but I put like, a lot of. I think they put them. They should I be there. But I put a lot of people. Like I put Shan in there. Kane. I put that whole. Well, Kane. I don't know if I, Kane could rap. Yeah. Oh, I still, wouldn't put. Still. Yeah, I, I wouldn't put Kane could really rap. Yeah. I about to say put a cord in your ass because <laughs> you played yourself. <laughs> you about to fight with. I'm leaving if you was about to argue Kane. I'm not doing that with you. Uh, what were you saying? 
No, just you, that, that you throw in the legacy. Shan. Yeah, like I don't think people would think Shan is the crazy lyricist, but what he did for the whole movement, yeah, you throw Shan in that conversation. I'm going to sound nuts here. KRS, I think, would get washed by a more elite because the game changed. But KRS is a legend. He's give amazing. Me the, give me the, give me the person that you think KRS <laughs> is, is getting washed by. You? All right, give me somebody else. Give me out of this. Every want no single person we talk about. Beans. Who else do we talk about today? I don't think KRS is getting smoked by anybody. Not by many people. I don't think I'm smoking him. I don't think Beans is smoking him. He was in a different era when you rapped slower, you rapped a certain way. Like, it's not the way it was. I think you're getting washed. See, this is why I said, don't put me in when I'm dissing a legend. Yeah. I love KRS is great. Yeah, but get your shit off, Rory. <laughs> he can't do that to KRS. I can't let him. Yeah, no, nah, that's KRS. That's the wrong KRS person. KRS can get smoked? Yeah. That's the wrong person. I don't think KRS gets smoked nah. in a battle. But, that's just uh, the wrong person. Yeah. But I mean, if that's how Rory feels, I'm there. Stand behind your shit. <laughs> yeah, right? but that goes to the point that I, didn't this conversation start with Carmelo Anthony, <laughs> <laughs> Gary Payton, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Bob Cousy, <laughs> Mary J. <Carmelo>. <laughs> you gotta fucking relax. Yeah, what time do it start? Like, what time what she what going time is it now? <laughs> Actually, yeah. hold up. What's the time difference? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, bitch, you at the late show? <laughs> they, they doing a back-to-back? She doing an encore? Oh, yeah. Oh, hold up, man. Oh, that's right. funny. Oh, what no, time no. is it now? Let's play sleepers, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, yo, here. <laughs> yeah, your face. New old joint. <laughs> oh, damn. FaceTime unavailable at the Mary yeah, show, yeah, huh? Yeah, no, yes. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, I didn't even realize that. Yeah. No, that's a lot of yeah. people in there. You know, they all trying to use their phone. Yeah. Come on, you're right Come on, y'all. Stay woke. And, yo, her phone's probably going to die, too. Cause she ain't remember the the portable. True. I don't like when they do that. And you know what? Her homegirl dragged us to the after party. She had to go to make sure she oh, was yeah. safe. Like, don't tell me your phone died after I bought you seven Mophies. <laughs> but she forgot guy. the Mophie. I know. Why you think I bought? Well, she's seven only wearing of them. like a dress, so you can't keep the Mophie. Where's she gonna yeah, keep the Mophie? Yeah. You know. You think she went to the Nas and Mary showing just a dress? Yeah, probably. You think she wore drawers? <laughs> I mean, certain dresses you can't. That's true. That's you true. You don't want to see the panty line. <laughs> <laughs> That, the fact that y'all both said that's true is nah, hilarious. It's true, nah, you're yo. right. You make a good point. Yeah, nah, right. nah, nah. All right, it's, fine. That's deep. Go in there with your pussy out, man. <laughs> if I rule hey, the world. Fuck it, man. If, one, if, one, if I, I rule the world. Your pussy hey, out your pussy out. The world. Hey, one mic might hit different. <laughs> well, one mic... One mic do All hit right. different when the pussy is out, yeah. though. Don't say his I car is topless. That. Yeah. <laughs> say the pussy is out. <laughs> say the pussy is out. Holy By the way. But wait a minute. I have that line on my list of horrible rap lines from Legends. <laughs> Who went up to Nas and was like, yo, your car is topless, fam? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're missing it. No. And he said, He was in no. the car with her. They were just driving through Times Square. And then... She must have said something. Like, damn, this is a nice topless car. <laughs> and he was like, nah. And he was like, nah. And then he stopped take her. Your, take your titties out. Yo, don't say the car is topless, man. Don't do that again. Say titties is out. <laughs> and That's a terrible fucking line, by the way. Say, I have it on my list of horrible rap lines and from Legends. And after you do that, do you think this is the anthem? <laughs> <laughs> and then he starts trying to give it a newness. <laughs> <laughs> do you think this is the anthem? Say the car is topless. Say the titties. Go, well, I'm go, I'm, I've been trying to get out of here for an hour, I swear. <laughs> Yo, if you are a rapper that has taken offense to anything that I, Joe Budden, has said on this podcast, I'm sorry. I apologize. We're just talking shit. I'm not here to That's offend all. any of y'all. We're just trying to get our edge oh, back. I was born in 1990. I, I think lyrics. my era could wash KRS. That's all. Yeah, man. No, they're going to kill you for that one. <laughs> That's, so That's the one. You don't even know it. Yeah. Well, maybe not, because this generation don't give a fuck about KRS. Right. No, and I love KRS, but I just think people no, rap better than KRS. No, you don't. No, no, we got to stop saying, don't say you love people you don't love. <laughs> no, like, I, love, I love him. Beans washing KRS is just... Disrespectful? No, I'm not going to say that because Rory could think that and have a valid case. Beans might wash him, but to to theorize a washing, <laughs> like to not have anything to go off, to just say, yo, okay. Beans, 
is washing you, him. You, you copped out with Biz, with Biz Marquee because Biz Marquee wasn't even really rapping, rapping. He was beatboxing, making great noises, making no, great records. No, but what records. Joe was saying was, was legends, though. Biz is a legend. I was so was KRS. I said I was trying to take it to the next level. I'm trying to produce and push this podcast forward to the next level. <laughs> you oh. pick the wrong one, though. You pick, you pick another you level. Let's pick somebody name. else. Yeah. Push like, the wrong name, B. Say fucking nice and smooth. Well, I started with Shan. Yeah, and then I didn't get the reaction, and you went to care. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting out of here before KRS man. say something about this nigga, man. <laughs> After KRS washed in, <laughs> had to step up the argument. Uh, please stop adding me in. Please say, in, baby. In Joe Budden's Rappers on Anal Sex article from 2004. I've seen this about a thousand times by mentions. I don't want to read what my friend thinks about anal sex. I haven't been on Twitter all day, so I didn't see that. Oh, you're adding in there too. I'm, 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 don't, don't, don't show sure. worry. I'm playing a sleeper. And we are getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Hate me now. It's a mad joint. Message. <laughs> Does my life be happy? <laughs> Either one of the acts. New <laughs> Jersey no. state of mind. Yeah, I mean, like early morning flight. Yeah, you yeah. know you can. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like that song. Of course you didn't. Remember when Nas, mean, uh, Nas tried to roll out his dad? <laughs> <laughs> I like that song. <laughs> don't roll out his dad. Care about that trumpet nigga. No, nah, bridging the gap. No, not a uh, life's a bitch music snob. <laughs> yeah. No. I'm talking about when he had no, his dad. About... Yo, Pops, hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Pops is such a snob. <laughs> no, not man? life's a bitch. No. The so, casual yes. fan has no idea that his, his dad, dad played on is that. on life's a bitch. I'm talking about the trumpet song. Yeah. Oh, that's well, featuring that... his dad. <laughs> yeah, don't do that, that He's in the video. He says, Yo, Pops. That's the hook. Yo, Pops. <laughs> Yo, Nas. Yo, Nas, man. Yo, Pops, you're the greatest. Say, I can't say no. I'm bitching a Nas show, man. Let me get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mary J. She's trying to throw the J in there. It's Mary J. Mary J. Nas. <laughs> Mary J. Nas. <laughs> That's a different drip. Yeah. It is. It does change things. Like, where you going with? Talk about Denise and her friends. It's always a it's always a Denise. Really I don't is. trust no Denise. First no. of all, <laughs> what, what, yo. you're way too young to be named Denise. No, one day we can have a conversation about them Denises. Yeah, honey, you gotta watch them Denises. <laughs> oh, then that shit, them bitches are trifling. <laughs> Denises, <laughs> listen, man, uh, what's happening right now? No, you're going through a series of events. <laughs> what's happening in the world? No, we getting the fuck out of here, goddamn. Let me find a little intro song. Boop, do, 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 turn it down. Come on, make it look like we just faded back up. Come on, get to the end, goddamn. <laughs> oh man, yo, t- this was a good part. Y'all niggas are stupid. <laughs> I don't like I don't like this new theme of y'all just cracking on me and the podcast turning out good. Like y'all come in here with some shit from y'all past and let me get to it. <laughs> let me get to it. What about it. these Versace shades that you guys just casually sitting on the table? It was right there next to the phone case, so he had to grab did you it. Have, did you make sure Erickson, like, pan the camera down a little bit to show the table today? <laughs> Listen, you guys, amazing time I've had. <laughs> it's um, bright in here if you want to put these ignoring on. Ignoring Rory. Those ain't even mine. <laughs> a nigga left them in my career. I was like, oh, Versace. Right, you, <laughs> yo, you really <laughs> not open your think, case I right now. I think those is raw guys. <laughs> I don't know. I've been styling, though. <laughs> I um, I'll wear some. I'll, I'll yeah, wear some. And listen, leave it at my house. It's going in the trash or on. Yeah. Fair. One or the other. They're too expensive Not, to throw away. Yeah, so. come on, man. Nigga ain't hit me like, yo, my Versace chase. Yeah. Like, all right. They charge it to the game. Yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll see me at the pool party. <laughs> <laughs> with, the, with those on. Warrior, don't try to take them off my eyes. I'll fight you. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's mine. No, nigga. <laughs> um, listen, man, amazing. Hey, now that I think about it, Ant left his Burberry scarf, and you've been wearing that for the past four years in front of him. <laughs> The, the amount of money that I have handed to Anthony, <laughs> he better never mention that Burberry scarf to me again. <laughs> like, damn, nigga, I asked you for some T-shirts. Where this bill come from? <laughs> <laughs> I specifically say, yo, bring the tees and the dress socks this time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Missed that one. Uh, listen, today was good. I'll bring this young Dion back. Uh, what's my little uh, talent? We are out of here. Uh, life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. Uh, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there until the next time I bid you adieu. Peace. Farewell. Hasta la vista. Adios. Deuces. So long. Goodbye. 100. Remember, the girl is not fine. She's young. Uh, she's not thick. She's on her tippy toes. She does not have hips. She is sitting on the sink. Her ass is fat, but it might stink. Mm. She's not okay. squirting. She's peeing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not believing that one. Uh, I believe it, that, was, that was a rumor. <laughs> she's not living her best life. 
She's uh, self-medicating, avoiding her problems. Uh, and all of us are watching, just cheering her on, <laughs> saying, go ahead, sis. She's not protecting her peace. She's avoiding accountability, <laughs> not taking responsibility for the negative actions that are taking place in her life and others as well. Yeah, She's not funny. She grew up with brothers. Some chick was really funny around Rory. He ain't like that. <laughs> he be getting, he be trying to get you that. Know all what, the what's time. funny about Rory is Rory does know a, a like a couple of funny chicks. I do. I do. But too. for the most part, bitches ain't funny. Yeah, for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you ever meet the bitch that thinks she's funny, but you yeah. want to beat still because so of, you don't of, tell her? Yeah, because a few dudes that wanted to be was like, ha 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 ha. Yo. A few dudes that wanted to be do do that. Yeah. I'll laugh at ha, a chick. Ha, 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 ha. I'll laugh at a chick corny jokes all night. I don't care. <laughs> really? She look good. Hell yeah. Come on. Boy. You I would have thought bit. otherwise. You have you be, yeah, me too. You better than that. Yeah, I would you have to sometimes. Nah, I'm gonna dumb it down a little bit. Yeah, you have to like, you know what? I see I see where you was going with that. I get it. <laughs> I just laugh on taking my pants out. Ha 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 Laughing and taking your pants down and sit. <laughs> Well, I just pretend like I'm trying to cover up. Like, yo, where my pants? Just run around naked. <laughs> yeah, you see my pants? <laughs> yo, no. <laughs> yo, edit edit the last part of the podcast. <laughs> edit the last 90 minutes of this podcast. Uh, listen, if you cancel us, just don't add Spotify. <laughs> just add us. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll figure it out together. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll, get we'll talk to you. Yeah. The part I don't like is that if we do get canceled, white ass Rory gonna just have a job at Sony the next day. Like, yeah, no, stay know. with us. It's like Lou Walton. Stay no, with us in unemployment. We're gonna do our own thing. Talk about uh, Come on, Luke. The, the king. Luke, Luke Walton got fired. Had a job in ten hours. <laughs> It's like, what the fuck? Dumbass Lakers. <laughs> Get a Jackson job. still calling the game. Oh, my God. It's crazy. Uh, we'll talk to y'all later, man. I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed this three hours on a rainy Sunday, we, uh, Saturday. We're going to fuck out of here. Until next time, you know the vibes. <laughs>